volatility back ratio revolution. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to create maximum returns with minimal risk. Again, my name is Don Kaufman, and this is a Theo Trade presentation. Right up front, I always throw up a risk disclosure. You know, I, I always say we're not financial advisors or broker dealer. And the reason I always put that in there up front, uh, listen, I spent 15 years in the brokerage world. I'll describe that here in just a couple of moments. Some of you have been around trading for a lot of years. Some of you have not. But um, I got my start in Chicago and uh, ended up obviously in the brokerage world short time thereafter. So throw up a risk disclosure. I'm no longer in the brokerage world. The next thing is a copyright disclaimer. This is ours. This is not yours. Listen, the real reason we throw this up here is if you ever, ever, and I really mean this, need to get a hold of me after this evening, okay? That's okay. You can get a hold of me. All right. The easiest way to get a hold of me personally is right here. Support at theotrade.com. Again, support at theotrade.com. The uh, the reason that I mentioned that is, uh, again, you may have questions after tonight. All you have to do is put uh, Don in the heading. We use what we term a common inbox. We just do that. It makes it easier. Support at theotrade.com. And uh, yeah, put Don in the heading and You've got to, you got a hold of me. Our office is uh, right down in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, kind of a uh, North Scottsdale area. And uh, we've been there for many years now. All right, let's uh, move onward and upward. This is why you're here tonight. Listen, by the end of the webcast, okay, we want you to be able to walk away with something definitive. Again, I, I say this all the time, but I really, really kind of stress, all right, you want to be able to, like, if you're going to spend an hour and a half with me tonight, okay, you want to be able to walk away with something that you can use, something that you can understand, something tangible. And I hope that that, that means something to you. Um, I'm going to show you a ton of my trades tonight. And by all means, you know, please, okay, uh, understand. By the way, uh, somebody said uh, they were having some sound issues. If you are, let me know, okay, if you guys are. By all means, I would like to uh, I would like to know that. Make sure that everybody is is hearing us okay. All right, no, that's good, that's good. So uh, again, one of the most important things to me this evening, all right, is uh, excellent. Yeah, sounds okay, okay, nice. One of the most important things is that you leave here with definitive knowledge, something that you can turn around and obviously use right away. And that's a large part of what we're going to do here. So we're going to talk about these key points this evening. And I'm going to make this crystal clear as we go along. Number one, we're actually going to learn where edge lies in the markets, specifically today. And when I say today, okay, I'm going to show you trades from literally right up until today. All right. More importantly, the strategies, okay, the strategy that you can use to turn edge into potential profit. Uh, number two, we're actually going to find a specific strategy for potential for mass returns with minimal risk. Okay. Um, we're looking for a strategy specifically tonight one where you can actually knock the cover off the ball. Uh, number three, discover how you can reduce risk your portfolio, regardless of your long or short. So the strategy that can actually produce some mass returns is actually excellent at risk reduction of a portfolio. So if you have a 401k, you have an IRA, by all means, it's important. Number four, determine how one strategy can help you create a high return to risk ratio, even the most extreme bullish or bearish markets. You know, uh, directional bias is not per se going to come into play tonight. Uh, you guys should know that right up front. Uh, I'm not going to care whether you're you know, flying high, selling off big. The strategy here is going to be uh, net neutral, and you'll see that here momentarily, and you'll understand what that means. Number five, what are the right steps to take whether you're trading and investing? And again, we're going to talk about you know trading, investing, uh, likewise. So, and there is a vast difference between somebody that's you know an trader or somebody that's more of an investor and you know we find that we do a, a webcast like this and, um we get people from all different walks of life some people that have never traded before that's fine some people that have just have a 401k and they're interested in getting involved and that's fine and i think i'm going to hit upon both of those this evening all right uh, before we go too far uh this evening for tuning in and staying tuned in to the end of the webcast we're actually going to provide uh an incredible gift for you in fact i'm going to be talking about this throughout the course of this evening so i'll be really clear about this what we're going to do those of you okay we value your time if you stay with me to the end of the webcast we will give you our auto expected move indicator i'm going to give you the link 
to that right at the end of the webcast. It's a $500 value. In fact, you guys will be blown away by this particular indicator. And again, I'm going to be using the indicator throughout the course of this evening. And the reason, one of the reasons we're giving it to you is obviously we want you to stay tuned to the end of the webcast, right? The other reason though, is because I'm going to be talking about it just incessantly tonight. So it makes sense, obviously, that you have this particular indicator. This indicator is the single most advanced indicator ever compiled and it's an indicator that's literally changed the way that we view markets. And if you've never, uh, if you've never seen an expected move indicator, again, don't be overwhelmed by what you see on the screen right now. We are going to uh, explain this in uh, in quite some detail, okay? But we'll uh, we'll look, all right, at what this means. What's the upper line, the middle line, the lower line? These are what we term expected moves. And the expected moves, they're ranges, and they're derived from options. Now, not everybody in here trades options, right? I said, I said the O word. Not everybody here trades options. That's okay. Okay. But what you're going to learn, the option markets are incredible at being able to handicap risk. And what this, what this study is going to do is it's going to tell us if markets are efficient or lack thereof, or if there's inefficiency in a marketplace and it sets up the strategy that I'm going to talk about tonight, it sets this up absolutely phenomenally. Again, uh, people will be asking about this throughout the course of the night. Literally, it's one of the last things I'll do tonight is I'll provide you a specific link to the auto expected move indicator. All right. A um, little bit of housekeeping here. Listen, tonight, okay, I'm going to fly through a lot of material, okay? There's a huge component of education Okay, that is going to be involved tonight. And I'm telling you, stay tuned in. Listen, this is going to be a skill set. You got to pay attention during the final link course material. Whatever it takes, shut the door, turn off Skype, chat, and Facebook, and get rid of all that stuff. Phones on silent mode, kick out the kids. Please kick out the kids, right? Kick out the grandkids, all right? The dog, the dog can always stay. Listen, you took the time to be here. Um, this is incredibly important focus on being here. And again, I think you guys are going to love what we've got uh, put together for you this evening. This is a little bit about me, my background, and uh, I'll just give you the uh, kind of the uh, synopsis here. Listen, I watched order flow for 15 years, and that's in large part why I'm here. Um, I guess my background, I'll give you from uh, from beginning. So I actually grew up around traders. You're like, what, what does that mean? Okay. So I had family members started trading in the 1970s, literally. Okay. As I was being born, um, I had an uncle that was a market maker in Chicago. Uh, he built a trading firm in Chicago. He, uh, launched the trading firm in 1976 by 1983. They owned over 500 seats on exchanges worldwide. 1992, he sold the firm to the, uh, to the Swiss bank. Um, ultimately became UBS and his entity was the trading division behind, uh, behind that. So I kind of grew up around trading and right out of, uh, right out of college, three weeks out of college, I was invited to, uh, to work in Chicago, which, uh, I took it up, you know, took up the offer. I was like, what else, what else am I going to do? You know, I'm 22 years old, uh, three weeks out of college. I was, um, I was actually clerking in Chicago. Only three, three weeks after that, so I was clerking in Chicago, and three weeks after that, they had a trader that just was uh, just not working out. They canned him. They put a 22-year-old kid uh, in his position. That was me. So uh, that was me back in 1998. Uh, a few years after that, I had met a couple of individuals on the floor, and they started a brokerage firm called Thinkorswim. So uh, they said, hey! You're young. You don't know any better. Come, come with us. Work with us here at Think or Swim. And I did. And what I actually did is I built their entire education division of uh, of Think or Swim. So literally from 2001 to uh, it was up till 2007. I actually helped uh, take Think or Swim public in uh, 2007. I was on the executive team for doing that. I was involved in the TD Ameritrade. Uh, merger acquisition when uh, TD Ameritrade acquired us in 2009. Then I went on to actually run education for all of TD Ameritrade until 2015. Um, I decided to exit 
TD Ameritrade in 2015 to ultimately build uh, Theotrade. So that's a little bit about background on me. So if you guys have ever traded on Thinkorswim, um, pretty familiar with that trading application because I helped build a lot of the tools on it. So with that, what's watching order flow? I say that's in large part of why I'm here. What's watching order flow? Basically, what it means is I can see what everybody else did. So for 15 years, you know, I would watch people trade. And I, when I say watch people trade, I didn't like tune into your account and do anything like nefarious. Okay. Because I ran the education division of both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. Okay. We were, I, I don't want to call it curious, but of course we were curious. It was in our best interest running a brokerage firm. Okay. To go through what we call big data, masses of trades. I mean, literally tens of millions of trades. We would go through and we would seek out what works and what doesn't, okay? So we would actually had an entire group at TD Ameritrade that would do nothing but they were statisticians and they would say, listen, this strategy, this works, you know, this this absolutely works. And this wasn't like back testing crap. We were looking at people's definitive trades. You know, we didn't zero into their account and be like, Mike knows what he's doing. Tom does not. You know, that's that's not the way it worked. We just used big data. And what you're going to learn here uh, this evening comes from literally watching billions, billions in uh, in others mistakes out there. So, uh, again, I stress this to you. OK, this is in very large part what works best for retail traders. And I stress that part about, you know, quote unquote, retail traders. It doesn't matter that I started on the market making side of this business because market making is completely different and completely unique from what you do on the retail side of the business. So that's a little background on me. By the way, I still do a couple of TV appearances. This is actually TD Ameritrade TV. I'm on there uh, quite uh, quite frequently. I still do oh, every, every week to 10 days on TD Ameritrade TV. This is uh, CNBC. I just show this because it's one of the more memorable times. Listen, if you're going to be pitted against anybody, on CNBC. This is the guy you want to you want to be pitted against. So um, I'm going to ruin it for everybody. And I always say this, but he's a really nice guy. This particular interview, and I've done a, a bunch of CNBC, but this particular interview, um, we got pushed back by a half an hour. And they basically just locked me in a video room with Kevin O'Leary for 30 minutes. He can't talk to anybody but me. <laughs> that was it was a fun time, but he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Anyway, let's uh, let's dive into this. Listen, Chaos, pure and sheer chaos in the marketplace. Has it got you down? I mean, when I talk about chaos in the marketplace, you look at the market right now, what are you thinking? You're like, this is totally crazy. The Fed has messed everything up. We're rallying. We should be selling off. The jobless claims is huge. Okay, the economy is falling apart. Maybe it's getting better. Maybe it's not. Listen, you got to push all that garbage aside. It does not matter. Okay, the chaos that we're going through right now, this is it. This is it, people. Volatility is the opportunity. I'm actually going to show you that here momentarily. Volatility is a grand slam home run. Like traders, myself, okay? This is the kind of stuff that we look forward to literally for decades. I mean, it's just you just wait for stuff like this for decades. And I'm sorry, some people are getting knocked around. And I don't mind telling you, okay, this is... How do I say this eloquently without coming off wrong? This is as good, if not better already than the financial crisis. And you're like, oh, the financial crisis is the worst time of my life. I'm a trader. I grew up around traders. We thrive in volatility. And I can't stress this enough. This is your opportunity. Okay. By the way, what's possible in the extreme? All right. I figured I'd start off this evening by showing you what is possible in the extreme. For those of you that have seen the Thinkorswim trading application. These are just screenshots from uh, from Thinkorswim. They're three screenshots taken at three separate times. What this is, okay, this happens to be my IRA account, all right? It's a, uh, obviously it's my, you know, non-taxable account. It's an IRA, but I wanted to show you, you know, what's possible in the extreme. Why, why am I saying that I love the volatility, okay? This is... All right, what we call a net liquidating the value. If you were to liquidate your entire account, this is what it looks like. Now it's obviously in reverse because this is a trading application, but back in February 23rd, I was at 211,000 and change, okay? By literally the end of that week, I was at 248,000, okay? 
Almost precisely one month later, I had jumped the count to 305,000. By the end of that week, wasn't exactly a stellar week. Okay, I had jumped it all the way to 308,000. Okay, that's more typical week. What happened, obviously, between February and end of March was nothing short of spectacular, but it actually got better. It got better because this is actually June 8th, okay, to June 12th. Exact same account. I just took a snapshot, you know, obviously a couple of weeks out. We actually moved the account to $396,000 ending last week. I ended last week at uh, 400 thousand seven hundred and ninety eight and eighty one cents so I, I just wanted to show you again specifically my net liquidating values at three periods of time in okay what everybody i guess quote unquote calls the extreme and to be fair and i'm just going to run through a couple of these i tonight am going to display the trades obviously that brought me to this level but more appropriately i'm going to explain the logic and how you can place the trades, okay, that can have explosive returns in here. And again, it's about minimal risk. One of the trades that uh, that brought me there, this is actually what we call a VIX volatility spread. This is a VIX volatility spread. And uh, unbeknownst to me, and I don't mind showing you this, but uh, here, I put this trade on January 17th. The January 17th, no one knew anything. Nobody knew about a corona this, a corona that. I actually closed this one in late february again unbeknownst to me I, I had no idea like the the whole you know corona crash was going to happen but the reason i'm throwing this up here first of all i want you to get used to seeing this these are screenshots directly from the thinkorswim trading application and by the way you do not have to have a thinkorswim trading application okay but that's where i've traded for you know the better part of 20 years and this is the exact time of execution, the exact time of execution, uh, the exact date and time, the trade, okay? This was actually put on for what they call uh, even money. It's not a credit or a debit. And I closed it for a $3.75 credit. And a trade like this has really, really low risk, okay? Very, very low risk in this trade. And it's a, uh, it's a grand slam home run. Okay, depending upon obviously the number of contracts, when you guys see something okay like this, and I'm just going to kick this off right off the bat because you're going to see me explain in detail this trade a little bit later. But when you see something okay like a 375 credit, first of all, some of you are not familiar at all with options trades. Like this is to open, this is to close. That's okay. I understand if you don't understand options. And again, I said the O word. I'm going to show you, okay, some of the logic though, not let's not focus too much on the option side of it. Let's focus on, okay, what is going to work in this environment? By the way, so this is a 375 credit. If you did even one contract, it's $375. If you did 10 contracts, it's $3,750. If you did 100 contracts, obviously it's $37,000. And again, it costs me nothing, literally nothing up front. So you're going to see, and I'm taking a little time on this first trade, you're going to see me go through a couple of these trades. But as I said a moment ago, more appropriately, you're going to see why I play certain trades. Okay. The next one is an XLF risk twist spread. Okay, this one was actually opened on, uh, again, December 20th, right? Closed the same exact date as the other trade. Uh, this is put on for a 36 cent debit, closed for a $1.31 credit. Every $36 I invested, I got back 135. It's a 275% return. Remember, you didn't have to invest 36. You could have done 360 to return, you know, 1,350. So that's an XLF risk twist. The XHB risk twist um this is uh this is one that was put on for a whopping week uh, again unbeknownst to me there was this whole corona thing going on I, maybe i should have held this trade longer maybe not you know what's ironic about this if you look at this trade if you look at this trade it was done in february but it was actually for the june expiration i put this one on for 53 uh 53 invested and i got back 362 it's a 583 percent return Okay. Again, I could have done a multitude of contracts in here. This next one is an XLU. Uh, the XLU spread, the XLU is the utility sectors. People, this one's like the holy grail. Uh, I put this one on for $96 invested uh, and got back literally 
every $96 invested, I got back $12.72. So $96 invested got back $1,272. It's a 1,225% return. Um, that is just over a period of a month. Uh, and that's, again, if you're kind of curious, you know, how an account, you know, flies in value, you have to knock the cover off the ball in a couple of trades. It's not going to take a lot of trades like this, but it takes a couple of trades. Um, this is just what a couple of our members are saying. GDX ended up having a fantastic trend day, made 50%. This is Trader Vic. Wow, Theo Trade just closed my positions with a $30,000 profit. Uh, and you can see this is this is actually back okay, in the time frame of March. Right. That's just a couple of like little tidbits I took out of the time frame of March and uh, got out of Lulu Butterfly for 137 percent return. Listen, OK, we're going through a difficult time. There's no no question about it. But I want to reiterate, OK, in all this chaos and everything that you're seeing, you just you have to stay focused. Volatility is good. Volatility is phenomenal. This is as I said a moment ago. This is what traders like myself, we wait our entire career. Okay, for volatility like this. Speaking of uh, waiting your entire career, uh, you guys may or may not find this uh, interesting. Um, this is the kind of stuff, though, to me is absolutely shocking. And um, by the way, somebody was asking, can I, can I do this stuff in a small account? You know what? I, I want to deviate for a second. Everything I just showed you, you'd have a $2,000 account. Okay, there's no uh, FINRA rules on any of this, any of this garbage. You have to have a $2,000 account to be able to pull off any of the strategies. There's no day trading rules on the strategies I just showed you. By the way, every strategy I just showed you, every single strategy I just showed you can absolutely unequivocally be done inside of an IRA because those were done inside of my IRA account. The next thing I wanted to I wanted to show you that I think you might find interesting, because when I say something like, you know, oh, this volatility is good. OK, listen, I'm not the only one that recognizes this. This is actually TD Ameritrade. And what you're looking at uh, down below, right down below over here, this is the average trades per day. So if you look back at September, September, they were doing about 800,000. By the way, that is 800,000 trades a day. And then in October, by the way, October, they were doing almost 900,000. But look, right here in November, commissions went free and people were doing a million trades a day. Just a TD Ameritrade, they were doing a million trades a day. Fast forward to the end of May. They just released this, okay? People, they're doing 3.3 million trades right now a day. It had nothing to do for, for commissions were free back here. Commissions were free over here. Commissions are free here, here. Okay. This is all about the volatility. Okay. Forget about free commissions. It's all about the volatility. People are firing right now. There could not be a better time. Okay. To be in this business. All right. Listen, this is your opportunity. It's your time. It's, it's your turn. Okay. What I'm going to talk about tonight. Well, this monkey. By the way, yes, I'm speaking of myself. This monkey knows volatility trades, and you should too. I grew up around traders, and I've always, always made my career about volatility. I am a volatility, okay, seeking trader. I'm actually, more appropriately, I'm a crisis seeking trader. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about the background behind what that entails, right? Volatility equals risk. Now, this is where we're going to have to put on, okay, the thinking caps. Volatility equals risks. The options market, though, can be thought of as putting a price tag on risk, okay? Pricing in markets is determined by market participants. Ultimately, options pricing comes down to supply and demand, right? So, again, there are some people that are tuned in tonight. Who is tuned in tonight, okay, that has never, 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 never traded an option before? Come on, admitting it's the first step, right? Just put, you know, a Y into the chat if you've never traded an option before. Yeah, I've never traded an option before, okay? Who here has never, never traded an option before, all right? You can say me, 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 me. Me is fine, all right? So, uh, come on. <laughs> like 10 people chat in over here. That's it, really? So, I should take it the rest of you guys are, are ready to go. Well, the one thing I, I, I want to bring to your attention before I go any further, and I'm just going to give you a, kind of a basic example, even for those of you that are experienced, I, honestly, I think this will help you understand this um, a considerable amount. When people talk about options, you know, you look at an option and an option is trading for $2. You know, the question is, why is it trading for two bucks? 
Okay. So we have what we call a 100 call. You know what a 100 call gives the right to do? It gives you the right to buy the stock at 100. And somebody goes out and pays two bucks for that 100 call. You know, why are they paying $2? Okay. Why? Well, it's, it's, it's because of, it's because of the amount of time. Well, that's one of the factors. It's, it's, it's because of the, what we call the strike price, because the stock is trading at a hundred and you have a 100 call it's trading for two bucks. So it's where the stock price, yada, yada, yada. People come up with all these like fascinating definitions. You know, somebody will say like, I, I asked somebody the other day, I go, why is this option for trading for two bucks? And they go, because the Black Shoals model, <laughs> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals, man, they made you do it. In the end, in the end, you really want to know what this is about? This is about supply and demand. Okay, supply and demand. If everybody demands options, the prices go higher. This wouldn't be trading for two bucks. It'd be trading for five bucks, right? And if everybody says, eh, this is... This is, a, this is a boring market. This option would be trading for 50 cents. I think it is what it is. Listen, in the end, option pricing is about supply and demand. Okay? And that's what volatility, you know, is. That's what volatility is. And like, you know, what has, you know, risk volatility been lately in the markets? Like, what has volatility been in the markets? Okay? It's been insane. It's been insane. So if you have insane volatility, what is going to happen all right, the options pricing. If the volatility is crazy, it's going to happen option pricing. It's going to go up, all right? So what can implied volatility do for you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrapolate some, uh, some pricing over here. How many people have ever looked at something called the VIX, all right? The VIX, the VIX, the VIX, the VIX. So the VIX lately, the VIX lately had dropped all the way back to like, you know, the, the 26 region shot all the way to 41, you know, and again, I'm talking about the VIX and some people, oh, the VIX is the fear index. I know what he's talking about. Okay. Listen, don't worry about calling it the fear index. Let's say you have a volatility of 20%. What does that, what does that really mean? Okay. When you say the volatility is 20%, what that really corresponds to, okay, is how far, again, how far the stock can move within a given period of time. So one of the things that I'm, that I'm doing here this evening is I'm actually taking, all right, option pricing, okay? I'm taking options pricing, and I'm going to extrapolate option pricing into stock price movement, which basically means options Okay, options are a market, okay, to what? The future. Options equal the future. And you're like, what, 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 what? Ha, 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 ha. Why do you think something is trading for $2 that expires one month from now? Why do you think it's trading for $2 one month from now? Because somebody feels that we can move, okay, more than two dollars and somebody else feels that we can't move as much as two dollars like think about that for a second when you're looking at an option price and i keep talking about some some two dollar option okay you have this option to two dollars there's one person that feels we can move more than two dollars there's another person that feels we can't move two dollars and the options market okay is literally trying to handicap the future that's one of the biggest concepts that I want to drive home to you because so many people, they'll come here for the first time and they're like, I don't need to learn nothing about options or they're not willing to be open-minded. But I'm telling you, in today's marketplace, okay, and I'm, I just, I can't stress this enough in today's marketplace, if you do not have an understanding of options, you might as well just like tie an arm and a leg behind your back. You are blind. And somebody goes, no, I use MACDs and Fibonacci's and Bollinger Bands. Then I'm not picking on your technical analysis at all. I got your 618 right here, right? By the way, that's a, it's a Fibonacci, right? So all of that, whether it's Fibonacci's and it's technicals, is using past data to extrapolate the future. The options market is the future. And the cool thing about the options market, okay, they're trading it billions and billions of dollars are setting option pricing. So the way this works, the way this works, you have this stock. And again, by the way, I call every single stock stock. OK, 
okay? And the stock is trading right at 100. Now, I'm not asking you to buy or sell the stock, nothing of the kind. I just want you to understand you have the stock trading at 100, okay? And the options have a 20% volatility. Now, what that means, what that means is that this stock, okay, within one year can move up 20% or down 20%. And it's supposed to stay in that range 68% of the time. Now, immediately, as soon as I throw out like the 68%, you go, what, 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 would you, would you come up with that? Would you come up with that 68%? That's what we call one standard deviation. Standard one standard deviation. Listen, everything you do in your life can fall into standard deviations, right? You can have really, really good drivers. Then you can have California drivers. Ah, come on. I got to take a shot once in a while. You know, you, just listen. This is just a distribution curve. I think people understand it. You know, good drivers, bad drivers. Most of us fit in the meat of the curve. What's the meat of the curve? 68% of us fit in the meat of the curve. Okay. Sadly, the entire world right now understands like area under the curve better than they ever have in their whole life. That's all we talk about. Like, you know, a couple of months ago, we must... We must bring down the curve. <laughs> we must bring. I am. I'm, I'm sick of talking about uh, distribution curves over here. Okay. We must. We must halt the trajectory and bring down the curve. This is a little bit of a different curve, nevertheless. Okay. If you think about this, if the volatility is 20%, the volatility is 20%. It just means that stock can move up or down. Okay. But what's the problem with this? The problem with this is that's good for one year. Who the heck cares what we do in one year? I want to know what we do in one month. I want to know what we do in the next week. Would that kind of stuff help you? If you knew, okay, if you knew, and I really want to know this, right? If you knew how far the stock was capable of moving, I'm not telling you direction, but if you knew how far the stock was capable of moving, okay, between now and one week from now, would that help you? Okay, because that, that's where we're headed. Okay, that's where we're headed because once you know the volatility, you could just divide it out. You can actually figure out how far we can move in a week, how far we can move in a day, how far we can move in a month. You can figure it all out. Okay, in fact, that's exactly where we're headed here. This is what we term, okay, expected move. Now, okay, how many people, and again, be honest with yourself, how many people, this is the first introduction you've ever had to expected moves just say me 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 if it's the first introduction you've ever had to expected move okay expected move is something that market makers and traders okay have been using since the beginning of options you know it's something interesting because this is one of those tools that never seems to infiltrate Okay, into the retail world. And it's really easy to understand. It's just saying like, like, hey, this this is how far we can move within 30 days, within 60 days, within 90 days. All right. And you can actually attach prices on it. What you're looking at over here, okay, is just a big distribution curve. And if you say 30 days, I'll tell you how far the stock can move. 60 days, I'll tell you how far the stock can move. 90 days, I'll tell you how far the stock can move. Huh? Are we having fun yet? And I can tell you what happens 68% of the time. And you go, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I have a question. What's the question? Okay. This is always the question. What's going to happen when we move out here or out here? Oh, don't worry. You're going to find out. That's the best part of the story. All right. You'll find out when we make the big moves to the upside or the downside. So listen, my, what large volatility you have, Tesla. Okay. So here happens to be none other than Tesla. Okay. Why am I bringing up Tesla? Because you and I both know that Tesla is a fairly volatile underline. Now, what I am showing you here, okay, on the Thinkorswim trading application, way over here, okay, to the right-hand side, these are expected moves for the next three days, okay? You can see how far Tesla can move for three days. You can see how far Tesla can move for what? For 24 days. See that number right there? The $183, $154. And you see how it says plus or minus? Plus or minus $56. Okay? $56 and 55 cents. Why does it say plus or minus? Because it's a distribution curve. It's saying it could go up or it could go down. 
Now, I'm telling you, all I want you to grab at this point, you know, people are like, wait, what? Those numbers are on this trading application. But here's something interesting. These numbers are actually on most trading applications. Most people just have no idea how to find them. If you're on Thinkorswim, yeah, it's right there. Okay. But if you're on like E-Trade, ah, it's a little more hidden, but it's on E-Trade. Okay. Like you can find expected move. And if you don't have expected move, if you do not have expected move because you trade on interactive brokers, if you do not have expected move because you're on Charles Schwab's platform, by the way, Charles Schwab owns Thinkorswim now. It's about to anyway. If you're on Charles Schwab platform, we can show you how to do this. Okay. In two seconds without ever having all right, those numbers in the platform, but it just makes it easy. And I wanted to show you this because we're gonna we're gonna use it. Okay. I also want to show you something even more entertaining, and that's this. Okay. What if we built a study in the charts? Okay, and that study was called Auto Expected Move. You know what it does? It actually plots the expected moves every single week. I can actually change the study to plot it for a month, but here I have it every single week. So we can say, all right, what we're doing here is saying this stock, which is Tesla, that's this, by the way, this is this week. Here's Tesla. The central line is where the week started. The upper line and lower line. This is the upper edge of the expected move. This is the lower edge of the expected move. Okay. In this case, we're supposed to move up 56 bucks or down 56 bucks. Look at that. We've already, and I want to show you this because it's so critical in Tesla. It literally hit the upper edge of the expected move, stopped the stock on the dime and pulled it back. Okay. You're going to learn a lot about this tonight. This is the study that we are giving you this evening. Right at the end of tonight's webinar, we will provide you a link to the auto expected move. I believe anything like this, okay, you shouldn't go on without something as viable as this. And it's one of the reasons I'm so adamant, you know, well, oh, we'll just give it away for free. It's a $500 study. We give it to you. Okay. And again, it's the most complicated, okay. The most complicated study ever compiled uh, onto here. So with all of this, right, all we've done thus far, all we've done thus far is we indicated what? How far can a stock move higher or lower? That's it. That's all we've done this far. Like how far can a stock move higher or lower? Why have we done this? Okay. Anybody? Why have we actually done this? Because I just want to show you like, forget about like, well, it's not trade options yet. You know, like, like, what am I going to do with this? In fact, here, mm, what to do with volatility? All right. Like, listen, all this like expected move stuff and, you know, sounds like a real party. How do you use it? How do you use it? And that's what, that's what it comes down to. I mean, listen, understanding implied volatility, it's a step in the right direction. Okay. But anybody can rattle off things about volatility all day long. It just doesn't, you know, that, that doesn't, the proof, the proof's got to be in the pudding. You know, you got to take what I just taught you. Okay. With what distribution curve over there. And we're supposed to stay inside this range. You got to take this and figure out a way to make dollars and cents out of it. Okay, that's what this is about, right? I mean, again, here, this stuff has to translate to profits. And how does it translate to profits? So I'm going to actually bring you into a trading concept. Now we're going to start to talk about strategy. Trading concept, less than 1% of market participants are aware exists. By the way, people love when I throw out statistics like this. And you're like, how do you know it's 1%? Oh, to be fair, to be fair, that 1%, Guess what? That's based on uh, 2015 data. How is it based on 2015 data? Well, that's because that's the last year that I actually worked inside of TD Ameritrade. And at that time, okay, we had less than 1% of those that traded options using, okay, this concept and logic. And that's, that's why I say less than 1%. You know, I think people rattle off numbers all the time. I wanted to give you the background behind where I came up with like less than 1%. It's, um, again, may, maybe it's a little bit more substantial, but I very much doubt it. Okay. So uh, less than 1% understand the concept. And I'm going to give you the concept right now. Even less though, figure out 
how to trade this concept. And I'm also going to show you that. I'm not going to leave you hanging at all tonight. Um, I want to make sure that you guys understand the concept and how to trade it. Okay. Next, know your volatility. So listen, there's two types of volatility. There's two types of volatility. Now, some geeks will talk about what we term implied volatility. Now, again, there's implied volatility and there's historical volatility. Okay. Let me just explain why I just want you to understand the concept between both of them. Implied volatility, okay, is what option pricing says the market's going to move. So option pricing says, okay, that we're supposed to move up, let's say, $7 or down $7, okay? That right there is what the option market says. That's great. That's wonderful. What actually happened? <laughs> so I want you to think about something. Could option pricing from time to time be wrong? Okay. Could it be wrong? You're like, I want to be wrong because it feels so right. <laughs> I mean, can option pricing be wrong? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at. And, and how to look at that is if the implied volatility okay, says we're supposed to move $7 higher or lower, but instead of moving $7 higher or lower, no, we move $23 higher or lower. You would probably say, oh, it was wrong, it was wrong, it was wrong. But what we're going to do in this, in this context, and again, I just want you to understand the concept here. We're going to compare, all right? Hey, again, this market says we're supposed to move X amount, but instead, what did we really move? Like, you know, what, how much did we move? Because what historical volatility is, I love this definition, the standard deviation of past stock price movement. Historical volatility is actual price movement. And that crap is downright crazy right now. It's, it's nuts out there. I mean, have you guys not seen like last Thursday, obviously the S&P sold off by 7%. Friday, pretty chill day. Monday, oh, manic, totally manic. Monday, Actually, Sunday night, we were down 100 S&P points. We turned around and we rallied. And not that bunch, but we rallied. Today, today, we were up 100 S&P points. We turned around, we were flat on the day, big donut, and then we rallied at the close. <laughs> okay? We're completely manic right now. How do you find edge in any of this? Historical volatility is out of control. Okay? Well, that's what we're going to talk about, finding the edge. What if markets continually moved big, but options did a poor job of pricing those larger moves. Okay. And how can we actually find it? And what can we do about it more importantly? So what I'm saying is exactly what I just explained. I'm saying the options market says we're supposed to move up seven bucks or down seven bucks. Okay. And we're supposed to stay in that range 68% of the time, but instead we don't move seven bucks. All of a sudden we're down here. Okay. We're barfing in the street and we moved $23, $23 down. And you're like, ah, oh, oh, mommy. I mean, it's, it's hideous and that can happen. How can we actually go about finding those situations? Stocks that are moving more than what the options market expected. And again, think about the edge that could lie inside of that. Well, enter expected moves. Auto expected move. It can visually display a stock or ETF smashing through what the options market expected. See, a moment ago, okay, there's a reason, there's a method to the madness here. A moment ago, I showed you three lines on a chart, right? This was the expected move. It said we were supposed to move again, like up seven bucks or down seven bucks. But what happens if you looked at it, though, instead of moving seven, it smashed through the expected move to the upside. And then the next week, it smashed through the expected move to the downside. OK, we're finding edge. In other words, OK, in other words, what we're going to do using this study is you can see a stock moving beyond what the options market has price movement to be. And if the options market says we're supposed to move up or down seven dollars and instead the real move is 23, okay? All of that is gravy. All of that is gravy. Here we go. All right. This is a screenshot that I took. Uh, I took this particular screenshot today.
This happens to be a product called IWM. Everybody knows what IWM is? Okay, IWM. It's the iShares Russell 2000. It's an ETF. IWM. Why do I like the IWM? It's the little engine that could. The IWM, okay, has been in an absolute tirade lately. The IWM should stay inside the expected move 68.3% of the time. However, in recent weeks, the markets in the IWM have just smashed, just smashed through the expected move, making the opportunities massive, okay? Let me actually highlight this for you. Right here, that's a breach of expected. This week, we stayed inside. This week, breach, okay? This next week, huge breach. This week, breach to the upside. This week, breach to the downside. This one, breach to the upside. Here, we stayed inside. Here, we stayed inside. Breach to the upside, stayed inside. Wait, wait, I apologize. That one is a breach. <laughs> That's a breach. That's a breach. This one stayed inside. Okay, breach. Uh, uh, oh, I apologize. Yeah, that was a huge breach there. Here, breach. This week, ah, that's where we are today. It's ridiculous, right? Does that look like 68% of the time? You go, how could this possibly be? And why aren't more people talking about it? It's because most people don't understand, okay, the logic behind this. If we keep breaching, right, the opportunities are massive. How are the opportunities massive? I'm getting there, people. This is what we call outlier, right? Outsized outlier. It's volatility limbo. This is all about risk and volatility limbo, right? Outlier moves. What is what does an outlier sound like? Not like an outsider. Actually, that'll work too. Okay, it's one of the greatest movies ever, The Outsiders. If you take a look, an outlier move would be something happening up here or something happening down there, something that's not supposed to happen all that often. But when it does, it's something spectacular. And that's exactly what we keep seeing, right? And you got to understand, right? They cracked Pandora's box wide open in March and the outliers just keep coming all right listen implied volatility these are the opportunities first shake off losses this is the time to make money i don't want to you know I, every single day i get emails and we answer literally hundreds of emails per day here at theo trade shake off losses i'm telling you right now this is the time to make money there are very few opportunities in this business that present themselves as prevalently as what we are witnessing and what we're going to witness following the corona crash and the fallout okay you need to get ready for this all right i mean this is it's the starting line over here you got to position your portfolio for a big move let's get down and dirty how do you position yourself most effectively for the possibility of extreme movements but without exposing yourself to drastic risks because you know what you don't want to put your neck on the line right now i'm telling you you don't want to put a, you know people like i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna buy me hertz <laughs> Yeah, you mean the bankrupt stock? How about the bankrupt stock that's trying to offer a billion sh like dollars worth of shares and they're going to go to zero, okay? You know why people trade bankrupt companies? Do you know why people p trade penny stocks? Because they don't understand this stuff. The reason people trade penny stocks is not because they, I only have $2,000 in my account. $2,000 in your account could be huge. The reason they trade penny stocks, I mean, most of those stocks are going to zero, Okay? The reason trade penny stocks, they simply do not understand these concepts. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not here to get cute. This stuff is seriously, there's, there's literally billions up for grabs because so few people take advantage of these outliers. Listen, this is a trade. I'm going to show you the exact date and time, then I'm going to show you the setup for it. So what was the setup for this trade? Okay, This trade was actually opened uh, right here on March 23rd, was closed on March 26th, okay? The trade was open for a 20 cent credit. Credit was closed for a $6.48 credit, okay? Just do some quick math over here. Uh, again, is there risk in the trade? Yes, I don't want you to think that this is a riskless position because it's not, okay? In this particular trade, there's also, there's a little bit of margin held up, it's $600. Okay. Now this one eats up a little bit more margin than most of my trades, but this one's $600 of margin, which anybody with a $2,000 account can stand. The trade was on for three days. 
Okay. So you're like, what, what, what about the, the day trading? You're just opening it and closing it. Okay. Calm down there, cowboy. You can't get much better returns than this in that short period of time. What was the setup for it? Let's tell you exactly what the setup. Look at the date, the 23rd, 26th. Okay. What the setup with the trade was. And again, if you want to see the trade again, well, we'll share this. This is a bullish, okay. This is a bullish backspread. The setup was a really simple idea, okay. We cracked the downside of expected move. We flew down. I mean, just got crushed. There's one week that's through the expected move. The next week, we're through the expected move. The next week, we're through the expected move. Right down here, I said, look at how many weeks in a row we went down through the bottom of the expected move. I didn't know any better. I put the trade on here and I closed it right over here. I didn't even maximize profit potential on there. Okay. The dramatic and continual breaches of expected moves just a huge setup. Did I know that we were going to bounce back up? Heck no. I'm going to show you something about this trade. Did I think that we were going to bounce back up? Okay. I'm telling you right now that the trade that you see here is a bullish position. But if we crashed, I still get to keep the 20 cents. If we crashed and burned, I get to keep the 20 cents. Right? But we didn't crash and burn. We exploded to the upside. So instead, I actually collected another $6.48. Now, okay, what do you think the setup for this spread is? Okay, by the way, it's not, you're not looking at a mirror. This is an IWM trade done here in March. That's the IWM chart, right? This is an IWM trade here done in what? Late April. In late April, we did the exact same thing. We just went right back to the well. In late April, saw the exact same setup. Again, it's a bullish trade. Again, it's a bullish trade. Put it on for a 43 cent credit. Now remember, I didn't know that we were going to go up. People are like, it's a bullish trade. He knew we were going to go up. Give me a technical indicator. I don't have a technical indicator for this. No one's got a technical indicator. Well, we're in the middle of a crash. When are we going to rally? How about this? I just put it on for a 43 cent credit. If we crashed, I keep the 43 cents. If we go up, I made five bucks. So I ended up making $5.40 on this one. Minus transaction costs. Okay, what was the setup for this trade? Again, this really similar. Okay, all we were doing was riding on the bottom of the expected move. We were riding on the bottom of the expected move. I figure, ah, what the heck? I'll take a shot. Boom. We shot to the upside. Gold, Jerry, gold. Uh, by the way, I did not catch the top on this one either. I don't want you guys to think I'm catching tops and catching bottoms because I've just had it with this stuff. People are like, it has to be about market timing. Really? What are you going to time right now? You're going to time Jerome Powell? coming out and being like, I'm cutting interest rates to NERP. That's negative interest rate policy. You ain't going to time nothing. You better get that through your head because people think they can actually time this marketplace. What are you going to time? This morning, okay, the administration came out and tweeted right before the open. It's going to be a great day for the marketplace. You know what the marketplace agreed. By the way, these trades that I'm showing you, every trade that I'm showing you, was actually done in front of Theotrade members, okay? Here we are, April 30th. Jim M says, out of IWM at 202. This is actually Phil V. Closed IWM yesterday for a 438 credit, okay? Vast array of prices in here because it's a fast-moving market. Judd here, okay? I had another IWM back ratio closed in 428. The 121, 128 back ratio for 43 cent credit sold for 213, okay? This is Len Yu. Okay, sold it for 228 credit. Corky closed for $1.93. Again, every one of the trades we're showing you here. Now, okay, let's continue. You ready? You guys want another one? Because I want to show you, like, you're like, okay, that was back then. That was back then. You want to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more recent? Okay, the breach lower led to the breach higher. So here's a strategy in none other than how many people here are familiar with the TLT? T. LT, what is it? Okay. It's the 20 year bonds. Me, Don, I love bonds. I love bonds. Okay. The bonds, they did nothing. They wouldn't breach. They wouldn't breach. They, they didn't breach. They didn't breach. They didn't breach. Okay. They got outside a little bit here. They got outside a little crazy over here. But as soon as they breached to the downside, we caught them to the downside and we caught the rip back up. And I'm actually going to show you the exact trades. This one, I got to tell you, I waited a while for this one. 
Okay, I put the trade on way back here, waiting for the breach lower or a breach higher. And that's exactly, I, I literally took both sides of the marketplace over here. Let me show you. This is a TLT, okay, volatility trade. This is a TLT backspread. Here, I put the trade on April 29th. Nothing happened April 29th, but I put it on. This one's actually for a mild debit. So I paid, okay, I paid $32 up front. And I closed it. Not exactly a grand slam home run, okay? But this is bonds. Bonds are mellow. You know what's cool about bonds? And again, I put this on for a 32 cent uh, debit. What's cool about bonds is that they are kind of mellow. There's not a lot of risk in them. It's one of the reasons I did it in here. And I closed it for almost a dollar credit. I closed it for a $98 credit. So net, net, what did I make? About 60 cents. 60 cents though, and again, I, I stress this, not every trade is gonna be a grand slam home run, but 60 cents, on a very, very minimal amount of risk. Now, this this trade here, okay, was done as a bearish position. It was just sitting there, bearish, 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 bearish. All I was doing was saying like, maybe the bonds eventually break down. But if they didn't, let's say, what if they didn't? I'd lose 32 cents, but they did. They made 98 cents. I got, I got nothing but time, baby, nothing but time. Look, I put that trade on all the way out to June, okay? This option hasn't even expired yet. I closed it. By the way, is that recent enough for you? I closed it, but it, the, the option, you know, that was good for time. Now, the next trade, the next trade, as soon as we broke to the downside, you know what I did? I turned around. And again, I like to get a little bit more recent here. Okay. This is when? It's last week. Okay. This is a trade I had last week. So this is the TLT. Okay. This is a bullish trade. I put it on for a 25 cent credit, closed it for a $2.10 credit. Let me tell you, in bonds, unheard of. That's a huge return inside of the bond market. Huge return. I don't want you to think, okay, that I have the crystal ball because I'm telling you right now, I am not suggesting that I can time wild moves in the markets. Nobody can see the future. But you got to understand the future is just full of risk. We just keep breaching and breaching and breaching and the marketplace just keeps getting it wrong, okay? We are, however, suggesting having place the correct option-based strategies, which just make all of the difference, right? Now I'm going to actually show you what I kind of call the, uh, the full Monty here. You could be two trades away from this. Now, before I show you this next screen, please, okay, do not get intimidated. The first time people see this, it's a little scary. Don't, don't freak out on me, okay? This Okay, is a full-blown, what we term, infinity spread. Okay, it's the infinity spread. You're like, what, what does infinity mean? Okay, the whole idea is it's infinity because there's upside potential, there's downside potential. Okay, there's a little bit of slack in the middle, a little bit of slack in the middle, but I actually want to show you p &L graph in here. What you are looking at, okay, are two separate trades. And it's critical that you understand this. There are two separate components in this particular trade. Trade number one, okay? Trade number one, this is a volatility backspread. This one's done on the IWM. By the way, this is a trade that's set up for August. It's on, baby. You can't put this on today. It's already on. It's on and it's working right now. It was put on for a four cent credit at the exact same time. By the way, for a four cent credit, this trade is your bullish shot to the upside. If the market rips, you're gonna rip with it, okay? I mean, that's the upside, okay, potential. At the exact same time, I wanted you to have the ability, okay, for downside. What if the market crashes? Here is a trade inside of what we term the VIX. That's the volatility index, okay? This trade was put on for a 10 cent debit. So if you actually add them up, net, net, what did I pay for the trade? Okay, mm, six cents. It's a total, okay, of six cents. I actually paid six cents. You're like, wait, that's it? Okay, is there a little bit of margin held up? Yes, okay? But again, this is a big one. When I say this is a big one, first of all, I did this two contracts here, two contracts here. Two contracts, and you're like, that's big? Look, 
if the market takes off to the downside, this thing's going to make two, three, maybe even four grand at the downside. We take off to the upside, okay? The potential in here is huge. Now, this is a big outlier trade. This is looking for like the mother of all moves, okay? But these trades, you have to understand. Look how much time you have. It's June, people. You got June. You got July. You got to August. That's to the upside. To the downside? Okay, you got till mid-September. That's These are the types of trades you need to learn to do. And I know people are like feverishly copying it down. I'm telling you right now, okay, what I'm showing you here, what I'm showing you here are precisely the positions that I have on. And you can't just run out and pop them on because we've already moved quite considerably away from this, okay? But I don't want you just to run out and like emulate these positions. I want you to understand the context behind why we put this trade on. Understand that these trades, I want you to think about something. Right now, you may have a 401k, okay? You may have a 401k. You may have a few hundred thousand dollars in your 401k. You want to protect it? Put these trades on. Why? Because if the market does crash, okay, this trade over here to the downside is going to make three or four thousand dollars. It's going to help offset the risk of your 401k. You go, yeah, three or four grand ain't going to do squat, Don. I got $500,000 in my 401k. Good. Do a few more contracts. I can show you exactly how many contracts to do, depending upon how much you have in the account. That stuff's important to me, okay? I'm telling you, you have got to learn, okay, to trade right now on both sides of the marketplace. You have to also succumb to the idea, and I think that this is okay to say, do you know, do you know what's about to happen to the marketplace? By the way, somebody was saying in here, the infinity, okay? Do you need positive volatility to make money? The answer is absolutely not. You do not need volatility to pick up to make money on this trade, okay? Because I see all that question pop in. If the market rallies, this is a rally. If the market rallies, okay, volatility is probably going down, but it doesn't matter. This trade would go intrinsic and would still make money. Okay, listen, I'm going to show you now a little history, okay, of these trades. As I said, I have always been a crisis seeking trader, okay, but never, never before have we had this number of opportunities, okay, I've never hit this many of these crisis seeking trades sequentially ever in my career. In fact, I'm going to show you some of my career trades. These are my trades. Like, listen, the proof's in the pudding. All right. For, um, for 15 years, from 2001 to 2015, 14 years anyway, I could not show my personal trades because I worked inside of a brokerage firm. Brokerage firms, okay, one of the rules is a very simple one. If you're a registered rep, you can't show people your own account. But I can now. So I'm actually going to show you, okay, my trades in the last few years, okay? I'm going to show you and display a number of key events surrounding the last couple of years whereby the markets and volatility, okay, did not effectively price risk. Thereafter, I'm actually gonna show current trades, okay? And the primary strategy to use the, you know, around these opportunities. I'm gonna show you, okay, where this infinity spread actually originated. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the first times, that uh, I can actually display over here. As I said, I left TD Ameritrade in 2015. We had a major crisis in August of 2015. This is August of 2015. The markets tanked. Volatility tripled inside of three days. Okay. As volatility tripled, what did I do? Okay. Pretty simple. And I'm just going to rip through this real quick over here. As the uh, yuan devaluation happened in August of 2015, this is actually my uh, my brokerage statement. Okay. And I'm giving you the exact dates in here. I know it's a little hard to read. This is August 24th, 2015 to August 25th. Okay. That is a 24 hour period, 24 hours right down there. Okay. Uh, it wasn't exactly a grand slam home run, but in 24 hours, I made uh, $17,399.60, okay? All the positions are obviously in here. Now, I had a lot of positions on. I had a lot of positions on at that point in time, no question about it. But I wanted to see what a decent day looked like around a crisis, okay? Next, I come into the taper tantrum of 2016. 
the taper tantrum. This is when everybody thought like interest rates were going to initially go up. And what happened was the S&Ps, they went from 210, sold all the way off, okay, to 180. That, oh, this was a great two-month period. There was a lot of volatility. In that particular time, this really was a great, uh, great period of time. So this is uh, early, early 2016, like right there is where the sell side activity started. It doesn't look like that much in the chart, but um, here, okay, the exact dates of this, you know, I just included January of 2016 to the end of February of 2016. This is exactly a two month window, a little bit of volatility. Okay, there we go. It's a hundred thousand uh, P and L, uh, $103,780 and 35 cents in terms of, uh, P and L. Okay. Every single thing that I traded is, uh, effectively right in there. Okay. Every, I mean, literally all the positions are, uh, are in there. Ironically, I actually lost at that time, $15,000 in TD Ameritrade stock. I, I was not able to sell the stock at that point. Okay. So, um, anyway, you can see all the positions here. That's the taper tantrum. So if you're, you know, you can make a hundred grand in a two month period of time, by the way, the account value at this point, this was a margin account. I had about $350,000 in the account at that point. Okay. Next Brexit of 2016. So this is Brexit, right? Brexit. Nobody saw that one coming. And that was actually a great outlier event. How did Brexit actually turn out for us? Well, again, very difficult to see. And I'm just going to lead you down over here. It's difficult to see because, listen, I wanted to show you the full brokerage statement. I don't want to show you just individual trades on these. This is actually, okay, the uh, June 23rd to June 24th, 2016. Again, it's a 24-hour period. Uh, I made uh, $25,201. So you can kind of see, and again, every, every one of the positions uh, involved is in there in terms of the, uh, the brokerage statement. Uh, next, by the way, 2016, as I said, was, was phenomenal, right? We went from the taper tantrum to Brexit to of course the, um, the election, the presidential election. Now the presidential election, this is where I actually really started to call it like infinity spreads because the, these are the actual trades that I placed. Um, this was actually opening positions. Okay. Closing positions, opening positions, closing positions, these were volatility back spreads. This one was put on for 265 credit. Okay, take a look. That's a one day trade. It's not even a 24 hour period. Put on for 265 credit, closed for a $19.25 credit. The one down below, I held the one down below for uh, for two days. 70 cent credit, took it off for a $30.75 credit. Okay, these were, again, just absolutely home runs. Both of those happen to effectively be bullish trades. Okay, those were bullish trades. All right, are we having fun yet? Okay, um, this is somebody was saying, this is working a small account, two grand in the account. I'm gonna show you that here momentarily. The next, we actually jump forward. I jump forward in time. 2016 was just phenomenal. 2017, not that much happened. We rallied a little bit, we laughed, we cried. Here, I actually jump right to January, February of 2018. Volatility was at 12%. This was actually the single largest volatility percentage move ever recorded in history. Okay. This was actually volatility in the spiders. Okay. Here we are at 12% and it jumped to 40%. That's where we are like, you know, almost today. We're almost at 40% today. And this was, um, this was again, this is when we had already, you know, started calling it quote unquote, the infinity spread. And in this particular infinity spread, you can see the exact P&L at this particular period of time. So I want you to understand that the trades, the reason I'm going through this, the trades that I'm showing you here, okay, in IWM a moment ago, we're like, yeah, you know, we were TLT and we put it on for a 25 cent credit and, and closed it for this ridiculous credit. This is not something new. This is something that's been around for a considerable period of time. It's, you know, I'm showing you every single position around every major volatility event Okay, since 2015, but this infinity spread opening position here, it's a dollar 37 debit. I closed it for a $10, okay, and 58 cent credit. I mean, that's a grand slam home run. You know what? People go, well, what happens when you're wrong on this? You lose a dollar 37. You okay with that? This trade though is good, okay, for three months. Trade's good for three months. So who cares? When I say who cares, people go, uh, what's going to happen if I'm wrong? I lose a dollar 37. Then I lose a dollar thirty-seven. Then I lose a dollar thirty-seven. Lo and behold, the fourth time I do it, I make ten dollars and fifty-eight cents. 
Okay. Let me ask you something. Is that worthwhile? Do you understand that logic over here? What am I doing? Okay. I'm swinging for the fences. I missed. I'm swinging for the fences. I missed. I'm swinging for the fences. I missed and the fourth time. That's the charm. Okay. Maybe you only have to put this on four times a year. I put them on more often than that, but you'd only have to put these on four times a year. And I'm telling you, okay, the returns on them are phenomenal. It's about expected return. That's exactly what we're seeing. Okay. This is a big one. Huh? We're not done in 2018. So in 2018, all of a sudden, okay, oh, we were rocking to the downside. Anybody remember this? It was December of 2018. Basically, that was Christmas Eve. Everybody's, oh, I'm getting sick all over the floor. It was awesome. Um, look, I put this one on. I put this one on September of 2018. I exited in October. Way missed it. I missed the best part of the sell side activity. I did. I missed the best part of it. I paid a dollar twenty debit, but I still closed it for a six dollar and fifty nine cent credit. You realize I hit two grand slam home runs, okay, in one year. In one year, I hit two of them. You realize what I just did the last couple of weeks? And let me clarify this: if you did one contract of this, it'll cost you one hundred and twenty dollars. The return for one hundred and twenty dollars is six hundred and fifty nine dollars. That's one contract. What happens if you did ten? It's $1,200, okay? It's cost you $1,200 to be able to make what? $6,590. That ain't half bad, okay? Now, again, I'm not here to tell you to do 10 or 20 or 50 contracts. Do as many contracts as you want, okay? Now, here's a trade that I could not show you, okay? The biggest trade actually ever was during the financial crisis. The financial crisis, well, all I can show you here because I cannot go back and show you brokerage statements from the time I worked at the brokerage firm my financial crisis trade. I started off tonight and saying this is not a popular topic, okay? But, and I don't mind saying this, one of the greatest trades I had in 2008 when the marketplace crashed, I had on, okay, a very early and a very rudimentary version, okay, of the infinity spread. Um, and with the capital, I mean, this is, by the way, in 2008, I was a single guy by 2009. I threw the towel in. And by 2010, I don't, I don't mind saying this, July of 2010, um, we were able to buy the house for uh, for 1.3 million. And that was completely from the financial crisis. By the way, it's not uh, not half bad in uh, Arizona. 1.3 million turned into about uh, 2.8. Uh, legitimately, this thing would probably go for three and a half million dollars right now. And uh, yeah, we did some we did some upgrades to the uh, to the home, but that's actually my biggest trade was during the financial crisis. By the way, if you're curious, what is a what does a three million dollar house look like on the inside? This is what a three million dollar house looks like on the inside. So we live actually in uh, East Scottsdale, and uh, it's a pool. Okay, my office is up here. This is well over here. Uh, that is a movie theater. This is an indoor basketball court. Uh, it's underneath the house. You can drive under there, but it's not really good. The kids like it, but I'll have to show you guys something uh, in a minute because I've got a great Corona trade and I, uh, I changed over the basketball court. So uh, anyway, that's what a uh, that's what a $3 million house looks like uh, inside. Uh, and we're not there right now. The Scottsdale house is, uh, it's empty. We are in Payson, Arizona in our uh, home up here. Listen, infinity spreads, the opportunities are now. As I showed you, this is the exact trade. So I much prefer, I wanted to show you some past trades. I wanted to show you the origin, if you will, of the infinity spread. Now, now I'm actually going to show you all the trades that I've had on uh, much more recently. And again, okay, understand that, you know, you can start to, to look at the trades and start to, you know, build some of your own trading ideas from these. Okay. This is one that I just recently put on. Uh, again, it's IWM against the VIX, as I was showing you a moment ago. As I said, Let's show you a little bit more recent, okay? What's more recent? Well, this is 2019. This is actually a TLT spread, okay? Here's one put on for a 12 cent uh, debit. I closed it for a 350 credit. And again, to put it in context, okay? Because again, everything needs to be in, in some sort of context. You know, one of the things that's very apparent right now in this, uh, in this marketplace is the inefficiency. This is $12, okay, uh, that I had to pay up front and I returned 350 bucks. Now, 
if you have a $2,000 account, obviously you will be able to handle this. There is a little bit of margin held up in here. This one would hold up $500 in margin. And I want you to see that. It will tie up $500. But even a $2,000 account can do it. Okay. The reason I wanted to throw this one into you is because a lot of our clientele were in this one. Hey, this is the second time I've been uh, with Don Service. Uh, took a while to sink in, buying out spreads, saving my beep. Okay. Now and then doing, uh, they fit also using risk twist. By the way, the risk twist is another name for the infinity spread trade on both of my accounts. It's embarrassing to think of the tens of thousands I spent on option info and classes. Don's classes is the greatest. It's from Gary M. Uh, Don, I closed the TLT risk twist spread for 127% game. A uh, price was moving around so fast. I ended up having to do a market order. Pretty excited to see the whole risk twist trade cycle and how well it worked out. That's from Vicky W. Again, the risk twist is this side of the trade, okay? This is another live infinity spread, okay? This one actually comes from, again, 2019 into 2020, as I'm showing you the history of these trades a little bit. This happens to be a, uh, a bullish trade that we caught to the upside. It was put on for a three cent credit, closed for a $3.04 credit, okay? The next one I'm actually gonna show you is a VIX volatility spread. I think I kicked off showing you this trade. This VIX volatility spread, Put on for even money, closed for $3.70. What's cool about the VIX vol spreads, these VIX vol spreads, let me just lay this down for you, okay? You don't pay anything up front. Once in a while, you'll take a very, very mild loss. Just a very mild loss. It's par for the course. But to close it for a $3.75 credit, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Again, you just, you have to understand, okay, this is not like hands-on trade all day. This is sit back, okay, and let the event take place. Okay. You sit there, you breathe deeply, you watch the marketplace and you go, the harder this thing gets hit. Okay. The better I'm going to do. I'm telling you, they, these VIX trades, when they take off to the upside and it's, you know what, this one's a rare one. When they take off to the upside, okay. You're knocking the cover off the ball. It's not something that's going to pay out every day or every week, but I am going to tell you right now, and I'm going to show you sequentially, we have hit more infinity spreads than ever before, more than we hit in the financial crisis. And we're just getting started, people. The next trade, this is actually in, in uh, this is Tesla. This, this is in Tesla, the infinity call spread. So uh, inside of Tesla, by the way, there's a great story behind this, which I'm going to share with you. Inside of Tesla, okay, this one's put on for a 20 cent debit. 20 cent debit in Tesla. I closed it for an $11 credit. Huge volatility, okay? Huge volatility inside of Tesla. The infinity spread paid off. Right after I closed this trade, I'm talking to a couple clients. Clients are like, you should take the proceeds and buy a Tesla. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I did. All right. I got to stop listening to you people because it, it cost me $100,000 to listen to you. By the way, uh, this in here, that belongs to me. That's uh, That would be a, uh, a Zaki. Anyway, that, uh, that belongs to me as, as, well as, the, uh, as well as the vehicle. But uh, I like this one. Put your trading account in ludicrous mode. If you guys have no idea what ludicrous mode is, I highly suggest that you try it. You know, uh, this thing goes like zero to 60 in about, uh, I want to say it's like 3.2 seconds. Okay, but it's so fast. It'll knock your head back into the uh, into the seat uh, hard enough. It can almost knock you out. It's it's quite spectacular, but I blame I blame you clientele for for having purchased this after the uh, after the Tesla trade. I've always wanted one, and my wife was like, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I got away with murder on that one. By the way, I've only owned it, so you guys know I only bought the Tesla uh, right before Christmas time. So it's, by the way, you have never you have the means and you've never driven one of these i highly recommend it okay the next one actually comes into the spy risk twist okay this was actually a huge bearish trade put it on for a dollar 80 debit closed it for a 1053 okay every 180 dollars i invested i got back 1053 now i want you to also start to recognize on these trades okay what we're doing over here is you don't have to do one contract okay you could do 10 contracts that's every 1800 dollars i invested i got back 10,000 five hundred and thirty dollars a four hundred and eighty five percent return on that particular trade that's a spy risk twist again coming into the corona crisis here's one in the xlf xlf same thing i had no idea corona was coming 
every $36 I invested, $36, okay? This is, this thing only tied up, okay, a dollar of margin, $100 if you're in a regular marginable account. You have $2,000 account, it's only tied up $100. Every $36 I invested, I got back 135, it's 275% return. This is the XHB. The XHB is a trade. I've never put one on and made money this quickly, but every $53 I invested, I got back 362. Okay, that's actually the debit. Here's the credit. It's a 583% return. Okay, as I said, never before, never before have we hit this many infinity trades. Okay, the next one, well, this is the mother of all trades. This is the XLU. This one was like what I kind of call the holy grail trade. The XLU, every $96 I invested, I got back literally $1,272. Okay, if you had done this trade $960 worth, it's 12,720 bucks in terms of returns, 1,225% return with very, very nominal risk. Look at the, the risk in here. It's a 67, 66, 65. It only has a dollar spread in here. It would only tie up $100 in margin, $100 in margin. There's nobody that cannot do that trade. The next one, okay, TLT back spread. And again, I already showed you this trade, but I wanted to get recent, okay, 25 cent credit took it off for a $2.10 uh, credit. So this one netted out pretty huge. And again, I wanted to be as recent as possible to show you that we're just sequentially hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. There is no other, no other strategy right now, okay, that I am doing that is hitting nearly as much as the infinity spreads. And the irony of that is the infinity spread is supposed to work the least amount, okay? Next one on the docket, EEM. This is actually the emerging markets. The emerging markets was put on on May 8th, closed, what, okay, just about 10 days ago. This is June 5th. Put it on for an 18 cent credit, closed it for a dollar seven credit. Listen, these are realistic numbers. You're like, ah, it's not that big of a home run. It's only a $40 product. It's $40 product and you're making like a dollar seven credit out of it. It's huge, okay? How about the XLF? The XLF and the, the XLF, what is it? It's a $24 product. This one I put on for zero. I took it off for a 51 cent credit. 50, you're like, oh, so what, man? I made 51 cents. 51 cents on a dollar wide, okay? Volatility spread, on dollar wide volatility spread. And I just go on from here. By the way, this one was t put on, okay? On May 12th, taken off, May 27th. One, one more recent. This was actually put on June 1st, taken off June 3rd. 25 cent credit, but then I took out another 26 cent credit on it. Again, all of them, the exact same notion. By the way, this is what our members are saying. John Haggerty, 570% gain, okay? Onward, XLF back ratio is nice winner, okay? William uh, Dirksen, Don, new here. XLF and Baidu back ratios, batting a thousand, thank you. Ed, close my XLF, thanks, Don. By the way, I want you to see the uh, the dates of all these. It's all June 5th, okay? The exact date I close it. Got out of the XLF, look at this, okay? Randall actually held it and received two dollars out of it okay you didn't necessarily have to take it off the exact same time he held it okay and the market was a moving that day speaking of which here's yet another another trade okay this was actually done on uh, none other than uh june again let me just highlight this this is done on june 2nd taken off june 5th and again i wanted to show you as recent as possible in all of the trades that I do, I don't want to show you something that's, you know, a year old, three years old. I just wanted to bring you up to a uh, sequentially time that was put on for a five cent debit taken off for a dollar 35 credit. You know, somebody asked me like, what do you do with the proceeds of this? Well, there's an emerging markets. This, by the way, this one is in the XLE, the energy sector. And uh, with some of the proceeds of this, what else do you do? Okay. I actually, uh, I destroyed my kid's basketball court. This was only put in last week, just so you know. That they haven't done the floor yet. Don't look at the floor. It's hideous. Okay. I'm not allowed to leave the house very often anymore. So we, uh, we built a, we built a home gym. I figured I'd show you that because some people ask all the time, what do you, what do you, what do you do with the proceeds over here? You turn your basketball court into a, uh, into a gym. So, uh, they delivered everything last, uh, last weekend. I spent the entire weekend, uh, putting, putting most of this together. And then the flooring guys were supposed to be there two days before they didn't show up on time. So guess what? I have to move all the equipment back out and then back in to, uh, put the rubber matting down. It's going to look very cool when it's done. Very cool. I promise that what our, uh, what our members are saying.
This is just a couple of trades. Marshall Gross, GDX, fantastic day. Trader Vic made 30,000, got out of Lulu, 137% return. Listen, everything I showed tonight, okay, this is not about time intensive strategies, okay? The trades that I'm showing today, all of them were displayed live at Theo Trade. We put the trade results, okay, in front of you. We put the trades and we text out the trades. And the trade results that we're showing, these are very hands off trades. The infinity spread is basically as hands off as it gets, it's totally set and forget order types even if a fraction of your time isn't enough to see results. Because I don't want you to think that this is sitting there all day. That's why I said this can work for traders. This can work for investors, you know, or in between. So make it part time. And I'm not sitting here telling you that me personally, I trade. I trade throughout the course of the day. I, I absolutely do. I sit here for six and a half, seven hours a day. I don't mind saying that. People are like, oh, man, that doesn't sound like, OK, what else am I going to do? You know, somebody asked me, like, how'd you get into this? I'll tell you what, I left TD Ameritrade. I spent three months completely out of the business. I sat in front of computer screens and I traded. Even when I was done at TD Ameritrade, I exited. For three months, I sat in front of the uh, screens and I traded. And the irony is, I'm still talking to the screens while I'm trading by myself. And my wife, she's like, you know, <laughs> she put a microphone in front of you. And Theo Trade was born. Uh, because I'll yell at the, I'll yell at the computer screen. Even if, if nobody's listening, I'll still yell at the computer screen. So we decided to put a microphone in front of me and uh, Theo trade is born. Um, but I don't want you to think that the strategies that I'm showing you here are going to be, you know, heavy, heavy time intensive. Like here's some of the characteristics of the infinity spreads. Listen, the, the infinity spread is about as versatile as it gets, right? It increases in value when exposed to heavy volatility. Increases in value when exposed to market sell-off or rally huge. And they have to go big one way or the other. Significant profit potential downside market move. Significant profit potential and upside market move. Loses minimal capital if we drift or remain flat. You'd only be placed a few times a year. The strategy I'm actually showing you down below, okay? This is uh, good for three months. To the downside, it's actually good for three months. You're looking at placing between four, okay? to five setups every single year. It's the perfect spread to produce risk of a stock portfolio. By the way, when I say four to five setups every year, do you see how many of these I did? Okay, what? In February, March, okay, April, May, and June. I mean, I just showed you like every single trade I did. Clearly, I'm doing more than that right now. Why? Because it's working. And when it's working, I'll tell you what, one of the one of the greatest things I learned in this business, when stuff works, press, move, push, okay, as hard as you possibly can. Ride that thing until you can ride it no more. And right now, infinity spreads, ride it until you can ride it no more. Okay, listen, this is the perfect spread to reduce risk of a stock portfolio, long or short. If you got stock and you got a 401k, you got to learn how to do this because you can reduce the risk without having to pay much up front. It's also an excellent tool if you just want to try to build a small account. You know, when somebody says, I have $2,000 in my account, what can I possibly do with $2,000 in my account? Do the infinity spread, okay? Maybe it pays off once in a blue moon, but I'll tell you what, you take a $2,000 account, account, you could run it up pretty quickly. Building the infinity spread. You know, one of the things that I didn't cover that much tonight that I should, don't let options intimidate you, okay? What I'm showing you here, like, are you gonna have to learn something? Absolutely. Do not let this stuff intimidate you. The spread below is being done for a six cent debit. But what I'm showing you over here, and I use this analogy constantly. It's the best analogy I can think of for it. You know, options are going to be the quickest, the fastest, the safest, the easiest way to get where you want to go in the marketplace. But you have to know how to utilize options correctly. Also, you should know that the strategy that I'm using here, okay, this infinity spread, this is defined risk. You know you can only lose X. You can't lose more than X amount. But the same is true. Like, you know, people always say, oh, on options, I'm so scared. Okay, listen, if you went out there and you wanted to cut down a really big tree, you're probably going to use a massive chainsaw. And if you don't know how to use a massive chainsaw, you're going to lop off your arm. Options, again, are the exact same thing. Really effective in creating returns. Okay. Used incorrectly, you're going to cut off a couple of fingers. You have to learn how to execute this stuff the right way. 
I mean, that's what this is about. You got to learn how to execute this. Listen, this is what you need to know to successfully create infinite possible returns with minimal risk. That's what infinity spreads are. So how do you how do you actually get into these trades? First of all, when and where do I place my infinity spread trades? Clearly, I just showed you it's the IWM, it's the VIX, but that can change. What's going to be the most prevalent product to trade, right? Should Why did I use the IWM? Okay, why did I use this? Listen, how often should I place these infinity positions? And do they need to be continually monitored, right? How do I set up the trades? And what's the correct market volatility to place the trades within? Too much volatility, you're done, okay? There are better times to use this strategy. Okay. Do I need a large amount of capital in my account to do this? Absolutely not. And I've been harping on that tonight because, hey, listen, a lot of people, they come to Theo Trade and they're like, I have a $2,000 account. I can't do anything with a $2,000 account. I'm getting invested in penny stocks. I can't stand that crap because you're just going to end up losing money. Let me tell you right now, this ain't Robin Hood. Okay? I, don't, I don't like that stuff. People go to Robin Hood and they open up an account and, and they're just trading penny stocks and they're getting on you know, like bulletin boards and you're getting scammed. And people don't understand they're getting scammed. You want to survive in this business. You got to learn to do the right things. Okay. You don't need a large amount of capital in your account to do this. You just need to learn to do the right things and not even at the right time, the right positions. Listen, what underlyings, what underlyings do I do this in stocks or indices, ETFs? What make the best candidates? Clearly, you just saw a couple. I did IWM. I had stuff in the TLT. I did the EEM. I did the XLE, which is the energy sector. You saw a Tesla trade in there. Okay. All of these can be possible candidates. How do I know when to get in and when to get out? You should probably know that, right? What are the percentage returns supposed to be? Can I do this in an IRA or retirement account? Absolutely. Uh, you just saw every trade that you saw here this evening was done inside of my retirement account. One of the reasons I do it inside the retirement account is because I want you to know that you can trade inside of a retirement account, okay? How do I size the trades for my account? If you have a $2,000 account, use X number of contracts. If you have a $2 million account, use X number of contracts. We have, okay, an entire position sizing tool for this. What's the right amount of risk for me? Like, how do you know? Like, do, are you willing to lose 500? We'll actually even fine tune how much risk is right for you. Then you go to, uh, how do I actually build the infinity spread? Okay. I, I, how do you actually build it? I did a little something in the VIX and I did a little something in the IWM. And I did a little dance, made a little love, get down tonight. You got to know what we do here at Theo Trade. Okay. What we do here, we create recipes in trading. You know, what is, what is Theo Trade really about? It's about recipes in trading. What's a recipe? It's just like you want to bake a cake. You want to bake a cake. How are you going to go bake a cake? If you've never done it before, Okay, you're probably going to go online and find some recipe to do so. You know, the irony of that, and I, I mentioned this and I'll mention it again here in a moment. You can go online right now and you can figure out what a, what a back spread is. You can figure out what a risk twist is, but nothing is going to tell you how to actually physically place the trades. Nothing is going to tell you all the variables to be able to get into the trade. You know, it's like you can go on right, you can go online right now. Okay. And you can actually read what a pilot does. A pilot, what do they do? They go through a checklist, right? What do we do here at Theotrade? Well, we build a recipe and then we have you go through checklists. What does a checklist include? Well, trading's all about answering the what ifs. What might be a good infinity spread candidate? What is the correct options expiration cycle? How much capital do I need to commit? When should I execute the trade? That means when do you get in? What strike price options do you buy? Which ones do you sell? What we do here at Theotrade is we build definitive criteria. We build recipes, okay, that, that actually say, step one, this is what you do. Step two, this is the product you use. Step three, checking the liquidity. Step four, here is the correct expiration. Step five, okay, what options do I buy? Step six, what options do I sell? Step seven, what's my allocation? Okay, it just goes on and on and on. That's what checklists are. But the checklists go deeper than just each strategy, each unique variable. Once we get you in, then we actually got to get a market that's moving. What if we go up? What if we go down? What if we stay flat? Think about this. Okay, the way that I think about the checklists, when we create 
our criteria here. And again, it's criteria, it's checklist, right? The way that I always think about this and visualize it is a pilot, okay? I flew all over the world for 15 years. And I can't, I couldn't even tell you how many times I've flown, when I say all over the world, I helped open an office in Singapore, uh, spent a lot of time down in Australia. I mean, you name it, I've flown there pretty much. And it's something that always struck me, you get on an aircraft, whether it's a 737, doesn't matter, the pilot will literally spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes Okay. They go through this checklist and the checklist is just, I mean, absolutely meticulous. They're walking around the outside of the aircraft. They're in the cockpit. They're like, yeah, I've done this about 50 times, but I'm still going through the checklist. And they literally go through there. And to me, that was imperative in building this criteria because we recognize that, hey, you guys are going to come from all different walks of life. Trading might not be, okay, your business. It's my business. You know, if I got into your business, whatever business you might be, all right, I'm not going to jump into your business and understand it overnight. But if you gave me a definitive checklist, I got a shot. I got a shot. I'm telling you right now, okay, we will give you each unique variable you're going to encounter in these checklists. We have the answer to your questions. We'll give you the right probability for the trade. We'll give you how many option contracts do for a trade for my account size. We'll give you when do I close my infinity spread? What if the stock sells off big? What's the correct return for the strategy? What if the stock rallies massively? Can I fix a losing trade? We give you the how, we give you the when, we give you the why, we give you at what price, and it's just the beginning of the variables you're going to face when trading infinity spreads. What happens if expiration's coming? There's a dividend payable in the spiders. What if, what if, what if? All of those variables are covered. Now, when you come down to it, again, as I said a moment ago, you could probably Google right now. And people like to do this. They like to Google, okay? You know, they Google everything. What's an infinity spread? What's a, what's a risk to a spread? What's a, what's a ratio spread? You can Google all of that. None of it's going to make you money because what you need to succeed in this business is the recipe for success. Okay, you need the recipe for infinity spreads, and that comes from 20 plus years of trading experience. That's me. I had access to client order flow for 15 years. Okay, that access to the client order flow, you know, I didn't think it was worth all that much at the time, but it's actually served me incredibly well in my own trading and in development of criteria for okay, the infinity spreads. I viewed and studied literally millions of trading accounts using big data, and I ran education for 15 years at a firm with the largest options order flow in the whole industry. I mean, it's TD Ameritrade. At the time I was there, you know, doing a half a million plus trades a day. It was huge, okay? You need this criteria. Criteria, okay, is your recipe for success. I mean, the following strategy and corresponding criteria requires the utmost attention to detail. We literally... We spent years fine-tuning this trade setup and the criteria. And when you approach the section on criteria, you follow the steps to build a trade. We constructed to get you into this infinity spread. We actually constructed two separate courses, okay? And I am the trade instructor for both courses. The courses are the volatility crash course. It's a two and a half hour class. It's available immediately. Okay, this one, it's ready to go. By the way, this is very recently recorded. Okay, like last few weeks, we recorded this particular class, okay, specifically for the kind of volatility that we're in right now. I don't want you to think that uh, it's, a it's two and a half hours. Okay, it's a volatility crash course. The volatility crash course is all about the VIX. It's about how to actually construct the VIX side of the trade. Okay, then in addition to it, we actually provide you the volatility backspread course. It's a three hour course, it's available immediately. Now, again, we have got so much detail in the slide decks that include the entry and exit criteria, the checklist, they're available immediately for download. The courses are archived 24 seven access or download. Okay, so tonight, okay, you can enroll for the course. It's maximum returns with infinity spreads. And this is a little bit of a package. I intentionally broke the classes out into two separate classes. You're like, oh man, I got to spend what? You know, five hours watching this? Yeah, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. This is not a lot of complexity in there, but it's going to be worth it. Okay. The courses, again, you can literally start watching them tonight. They're archived. And we have 
a Theotrade mobile application for both Apple and Android, so iOS and Android. So you can actually download the classes specifically to those devices. Put it on a tablet, put it on a phone, whatever. You can watch them in the middle of the night, okay? Annoy whoever it is next to you, okay, with, uh, with five and a half hours of this. The class tonight, okay, is $497. Now, before I go any further, again, this is, it's a lot to actually comprehend. There are two classes in here, and I want you to know that there's two classes. And in a moment, I'm going to take you through what the curriculum is of those two courses, okay? Before I do that, though, I want to address something here, okay? Tonight, we will provide everybody here, everybody will get the auto expected move indicator. We provide that to you free. It's right at the end of this. It'll be in about, you know, 10 minutes or so, I'll give you the link to the indicator. But before I go any further, there's one incredibly important thing that I want you guys to know about Theotrade. Because at this point, this, you know, as soon as we, uh, it's 497 bucks, okay? You think it's worth $500 to learn how to do this particular trade? Okay, listen, we don't just stop here. And I want you to know that right now. Okay, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm reading, uh, reading through some of the comments and I'm actually going to get every one of these answered here momentarily, okay? One of the things I want you to know right now about Theotrade, we are not just gonna provide you five hours of courses for $500 and kick you out the door, okay? We are not gonna just provide you five hours of courses and kick you out the door, okay? Listen, I have been around in this industry since 1998. I started in the education side of the business in 2001 while we were building Thinkorswim. And I have seen everything, and I mean everything out there in terms of education. And one thing that has always infuriated me over the years, somebody sells you a five hour course and they go, great, go ahead. And then they sell you an indicator. So they sell you a $500 course, then they sell you an indicator, but then you have to take a $500 class to learn how to use the indicator that they sold you for $500. Before you know it, you're two or $3,000 deep. It gets ridiculous. That is not what we are about here at Theotrade. I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm going to describe it here momentarily. We here at Theotrade will provide you everything that you need to trade or invest. Every indicator, every course, we're going to give you access to everything, okay? And that is why I wanted to cover this. Because again, I have seen the gauntlet. And I know that when people come out to this, you know, by the way, everything is archived. When people come out and they, oh, it's $497. And you know, I know that a lot of you guys have already taken classes. Fantastic. You've taken a couple of classes. You've never taken anything like what we offer here at Theotrade. And that's exactly what we're going to show you right now. Now tonight, we are going to include a couple of bonuses. Hang with me here for the next 10 minutes. It will be absolutely worth your while, okay? Here's the workshop curriculum. First of all, what do we actually do in these two classes? Well, we show you how to actually construct infinity spreads, maximum returns, minimal risk, how to build your own infinity spread stock, index, ETF, detailed step-by-step, -step, okay? How to build infinity spreads with your bullish, with your bearish, with your neutral, how to hedge your portfolio from pending market turmoil, okay? with these volatility and sensitive strategies. I mean, listen, this is a volatile time, obviously. So I believe heavily in hedging your portfolio. If you have a 401k or an IRA, spend some special attention over there, okay? Special time and attention. When to open, when's the best time to close the infinity spreads? We're also gonna give you the tools and strategy for analyzing market conditions. So you can trade with a lot more confidence in there. That's actually gonna deal with what we term expected move, okay? How to create trades based on movement in market volatility, not purely direction of the market. How you can generate, obviously, big returns in a small account or retirement account with minimal risk and minimal options experience. What strikes and what option expiration period to select to give you the highest probability of success. And then obviously, why infinity spreads are perfect for part-timers. Listen, trading, trading doesn't have to be glued to the screen all day long, but I wanted to give you a little bit of curriculum. By the way, on top of this, on top of this, we also provide weekly infinity spread videos. So once we once we go through a class, as I said, we don't just kick you out the door, okay? Each one of these videos just keeps updating you. It's on a weekly basis. 
keeps updating you on all the trades that we already have on. And if you don't have the spread on, let's say that you watched the class tonight, you could actually go in here and you could say, oh, cool, man. These are all my trades in here. Everything is packed in here. It shows you all the trades. We also text out trades when we put them on. But if you're not around when we text it out, don't worry. You can actually go back in here, watch the video, place the trade a little bit after this. Okay? And that's important to me that you know that there's support here. Now, we're not even close to done. Listen, you want a bonus. Listen, Theo trade, as I said a moment ago, would be go, we just go beyond one class or one indicator. Like we get it. Like you want everything to trade and invest at one place and you want it at one price. And that's exactly what we do. The first bonus tonight, we're going to give you access to over 92 trading classes. So I'm just going to put it on the line. What we do here at Theo trade, we give you access to every class that we have ever done from day one. So we just give you access. It's the full Monty people. We give you access to 92 trading classes. Okay. And I will put these 92 trading classes, okay, up against anything in this industry at any price. I don't care. Somebody's like, I paid $5,000. It'll absolutely smoke it. There's nothing comparable to the archives here at TheoTrade. I also want you guys to understand 92 classes. They're not all me. I'm about to introduce you to the TheoTrade instructors. Okay. Our instruction crew over here, again, is second to none. There's, there's firms out there that teach this stuff and they, I got this special trader and that special trader. Yeah. How about we actually have seven full-time instructors here, all with a minimum of 15 years of experience. Okay. When I say access to 92 classes, obviously we give you the maximum returns with infinity spread package. Okay. So we give you the infinity spread. Then we give you a guide to surviving and thriving in extreme volatility, volatility back spreads, guide to small account growth with in-out spreads, growing a small account with black book spreads, how to collect income being short. All right. This is actually the risk twist spread class. I'm going to tell you right now, watch that one. Guide to selling high probability spreads, iron up, iron condors for income, selling premium, okay, day trading NASDAQ futures. We have day traders here, covered calls, income generation for your stocks, essential skills for consistency in trading, top 10 skills for growing small account, pairs trading. People, I'm just scraping, scraping, okay, a little bit of what we do. It's 92 classes. And when I say there's 92 classes, how could you possibly have 92 classes? Here, I'm actually going to show you what 92 classes looks like. And I promise I'll show you a little bit more about this later. Okay, what does 92 classes looks like? Well, first of all, come on, come on. There it is. 92 classes, right? The classes are actually broken down. Option strategies, option newbies, technical analysis, day trading. You get access to everything. There's no if, in, or but about it. Everything. You want to learn about option strategies? What does that look like? Okay, I'm going to click on it. What does it look like? So it looks like this. Here's every class that we've ever done. So what does a class actually look like? Here's a class. It's one of my favorites. How to collect income being short. So I'm actually going to click on that because I want you to see what a class looks like. Okay, the classes, here it is, starting to play. Now you just obviously can supersize this. Okay, you can supersize this, download the slide deck. This one's actually from April 28th, 2018. But lately, Okay. Lately, people, I've been on an outright tear. Okay. Controlling your risk, backspreads, volatility crash course, guide to surviving extreme volatility. Okay. This right here, this is your infinity spread class, the volatility crash course and the backspread class. As I said, these were done. Okay. Very recently. Is that recent enough for you? Okay. And we're constantly, constantly adding more classes in here. So I wanted you to see a little bit about what is included in 92 classes. It's everything. I mean, we're giving you literally access to over 9,000 plus dollars in classes alone. Everywhere else, like you pay 500 bucks here, pay 500 bucks here. That crap is wrong. It's just wrong. By the way, as I said, let me introduce you guys to some of the Theo Trade instructors. First in the list, okay, we have uh, Professor Jeff Bierman. By the way, we call him Professor Jeff Bierman because he's a professor. He's a professor of finance at uh, Loyola in Chicago. Uh, Jeff also recently just got um, accepted. He's now teaching the MBA program at uh, Loyola in Chicago. Jeff also worked with me at uh, TD Ameritrade. He actually worked directly in my group at TD Ameritrade. He was the chief market technician for TD Ameritrade. If you trade on the Thinkorswim platform, Jeff actually built over half the studies in the Thinkorswim platform. Next on the list, Matt Williamson. Matt Williamson is our market neutral 
premium selling option strategist. So if you guys are a little bit of option geeks, this is your guy, he sells premium. Okay, number three, Corey Rosenblum. He's our senior strategist. He's also our resident swing trader. If you guys are familiar with swing trading, this is your guy, okay? Futures, stocks, swing trader, this is your guy. Next in the list, Brandon Chapman's. He's our CMT. By the way, three, three of our instructors have the designation of CMT. Corey has it, Jeff Bierman has it, okay? And obviously, Brandon Chapman has it, has a CMT. You realize how rare and how hard it is to get a CMT? We have three CMTs on uh, on our crew here. Brandon, macroeconomics, technicals, and fundamentals. Just real quick, Brandon also worked at TD Ameritrade. Now, Brandon wrote the course manual for the education firm of TD Ameritrade. Okay, you know what that, that course manual? It was $24,000 for an 18-month long course Brandon actually wrote the course manual, 24 grand for 18 months, and he'll be the first to tell you what we do here at Theotrade for 500 bucks absolutely smokes what they did for $24,000 for 18 months. Next on the list, Steve Slim Miller. He's a 43-year veteran stock options and futures trader. Slim has tried to retire, but we pulled him in. We pulled him back in. I've known Slim since I'm a kid. Uh, last, but definitely not at least, Tony Rago. He's our intraday. He's a futures trader. He just trades all day, every day, and calls out trades all day, every day inside of our live trading room. So that is the first bonus that we provide to you this evening. We give you access to the entire library of courses that we have ever done here at Theotrade all from seven instructors. Obviously, there's six on the screen plus myself. The second bonus that we offer you to this evening, we were going to give you an all-access Theotrade VIP membership. Okay, it's included. What does it give you access to? It's three months unlimited access to Theostream. Theostream is, it's a live trading chat room. We broadcast six hours a day. Now, before you go any further, everybody's like, I, I don't have six hours a day. Okay. Well, some of you guys are working from home now. Maybe you do. You don't have six hours a day. Everything's archived. But you have to understand, some people want to trade all day. So what do we do? We trade all day with them. Okay. We literally have and broadcast throughout the course of every trading day. And at the time, we actually call out real trade ideas, real-time market insights, analysis. We even do coaching sessions in here with continued education. These trades, okay, are actually text it out, including infinity spreads and, and in-out spreads. There's five distinct trading portfolios. There's daily coaching sessions with timely topics and stocks, options, and futures. And, okay, one of the biggest bonuses I think in here, we will directly answer. The instructors that I just mentioned will directly answer your trading questions via email. You got a question? Email us, support at theotrade.com. Okay, the reason I mentioned this over here is most of us here at Theotrade had experience on the brokerage side of this business, okay? Because we had experience on the brokerage side of the business, we're very comfortable answering trading-related questions. We don't shy away from anything. You can email us and say, am I doing this trade right? I'd be like, no, that's the worst trade I've ever seen. Don't do it. Am I doing this trade right? You know, bounce trade ideas off of us. Don't you think that's worth it for 500 bucks? For 500 bucks, okay, for three months, you have access to ask these guys as many questions as you want on email for 500 bucks. That alone is worth the 500 bucks. Forget about the 92 classes. Forget about, you know, watching us trade all day long. Literally, you will watch us trade all day long, okay, for three months, okay? It's access to over $997 of support, trades, and insight. And again, I put a lot into the, uh, the fact that we provide email support because nobody does that stuff. Coaching sessions, you know, people charge $1,000 a month for coaching. This is just included, and we do it for three months for you, okay? All right, moving on. Included in bonus number two, we also give you access to 59 proprietary indicators and scans. Auto expected move. Remember that one? I'm gonna provide you the link for it here momentarily, okay? We have S&P 500 gravity points, Theotrade RSI Laguerre, that's another big one. Quantix, huge. Next generation squeeze indicator, Theoquant trade setup, okay? Sizzle scan, SPX expected move, a ton more. What I'm saying is that we don't have any sacred cows here. Everything that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, anything proprietary, we give it to you from day one. It's access to over $1,800 in indicators and scans. By the way, that's just part 
of the second bonus over there. Listen, if I'm using an indicator, you're going to need that indicator. Otherwise, you're going to just trade blind. What's the what's the point? Well, I'm using an indicator that you don't have on a class that you haven't taken. It's ridiculous. It's a bunch of crap. Okay. We give you every single class, right? We give you access to all of these instructors via email. We give you access to six hours a day to a live chat room. Okay. And by the way, you can see our screens. We're trading in that room and you can talk to other clients. Okay. You, we shoot you out text messages when we trade. There's five distinct trading portfolios. We give you access to all the proprietary indicators and scans, all of it at 500 bucks for three months. By the way, here's a third bonus. I think you guys will appreciate this one. Bonus number three, we have a live class. When's the next live class? Yeah, how about it's June 18th and I'm the instructor for it. Now this one is just, it's just coming up. And the reason, okay, that I'm mentioning this because it's coming up this Thursday. Now I know that not everybody can attend live this Thursday, but this is gonna be about a two to two and a half hour class. It's about bonds and interest rates critical understanding right now. We're going to expose everything you need to know about bonds and interest rates because it's what really moves the market. So the third bonus tonight, and this is a bit of an unusual one, we have a live class coming up. If we're going to have a live class coming up, you should be part of it. It's coming up this Thursday. The class is archived immediately. So if you can't make it live 24-7 access, you can download it onto mobile, iOS, and Android. Okay, the class is coming up. And when I say it's coming up, it's Thursday. Class is built. Class is ready to go. When I say it's built, I have all the PowerPoints, everything ready to go. Okay. We will, I will be doing that class live and uncut. Okay. June 18th. That's this Thursday. It's 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time. Now, here's actually the curriculum. Bonds and interest rates. What really moves the markets? Understanding the bond markets. How bonds can and will influence the markets and all of your positions. Learn to read bond markets day to day and how these markets influence your stock positions. You're actually gonna learn movement, oh, especially today. Bonds were rocking today. They're gonna to influence your stock positions. What yield curve is, okay, yield curve control. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. Pay attention to interest rates, okay? Discover how you can enter into defined risk bond trades. Learn why junk bonds can be an Excellent indication and confirmation of future market risks. See how changes in market regulations have also forced large firms into bonds and where catastrophic risks could lie. And you're actually, again, you're going to be learning a tremendous amount about bonds. This class is coming up. This is a third bonus for tonight because it's coming up this Thursday and you should know about it. So not only are you getting the infinity spread package, but you're also going to get bonds and interest rates. But the bottom line is, there's already 92 classes. And I'll tell you what, people are like, well, for 500 bucks, would you rather be overwhelmed or underwhelmed? I mean, seriously, I think people would rather be overwhelmed. You don't have to watch 92 classes, right? Okay. But we're also going to give you this brand new class on bonds and interest rates. And I'm telling you, if you've never been to one of the classes that I do live, it's going to be worthwhile. Learn to place bond trades. Okay. You're going to learn precisely why Okay, I'm placing certain bond trades. This happens to be a trade that I was showing you earlier this evening. This is actually a TLT. This is a bond backspread. Why did I place it? Okay, what's going on in the bond markets that gave us edge in this particular trade is precisely what we're going to talk about. And by the way, this trade for bond markets, bonds don't move very much, right? Bonds don't move very much, and we're still getting phenomenal returns. Check out some of the returns. This is actually Sandra. Then June 11th, by the way, these are, you know, Sandra, filled. Okay, what? Dollar ninety seven TLT credit. Okay, TLT out at two oh one. Uh Rocco. Okay. Back ratios up thirty two thousand percent. This guy actually holds them longer than anybody holds them. Listen, here at Theo Trade, we include everything you need to invest in trade. We provide classes, we provide coaching, we provide email access to the instructors. We provide a live trading chat room and live trades, we provide indicators and scans, we give you mobile access everything you need to succeed. And when you start thinking about Theotrade, I mean, we kind of built, Theotrade is, it's the Netflix for traders. You name a genre of trade, we've got it. You know, you want to learn about futures contracts, done. Maybe you just want to come here and learn about stocks and technical analysis, done. We've got it. You need a little bit of mindset help. We have an entire area for psychology in trading, done. Okay, that's why we call Theotrade it is the Netflix for traders. Tonight, 
total Theo, it's only $297 for three months. Before I go any further, I also want to detail this. Everybody always asks me this question, so I'm just going to get right down to it here. Okay, Theo trade is $297 for three months. This is not a membership. <laughs> it's not a membership, okay? We are not selling you a membership. It's $297 for three months. If you want to continue after three months, this is not an introductory price. After three months, you will be asked if you want to continue, it's 297 bucks. And a lot of people ask us like, how could you provide this much, okay? for three months at $297. It's actually easy. There's over 5,000, okay, current Theo traders. There's literally over 5,000 individuals now that have come to Theo trade. 5,000 people in those chat rooms on a day-to-day -day basis is actually uh, it's slightly over that now. Why? Because we do this right. We have, again, unparalleled education anywhere. So here, everything that you get for $297. And again, this is tonight. And you can go right now. It's theotrade.com forward slash profit. Okay. P-R-O. Okay. F as in Frank. I. T as in Tom. So it's theotrade.com forward slash profit. Right. Go to that right now. And you, of course, can enroll for this $297 for three months. I'll go over everything in here, okay, and uh, detail a couple more things. Then we're actually going to answer some questions. But um, it includes, of course, the maximum returns with Infinity Spreads courses. That's included to give you access to over 92 trading classes, all available immediately. We have new monthly classes. Obviously, we have new monthly classes because bonus number three tonight is what? Yeah, the new monthly class is this Thursday, okay? It's this Thursday. Everybody's like, K should I? enroll right now for it because you're going to want to go to the class Thursday. We give you access to the live trading room. I'm going to show you the live trading room here momentarily. We broadcast live six hours a day. Indicators, there's 59 pro proprietary indicators and scans. Everything, everything I use, any chart, any study, it's all in there. Text and push notifications. We don't email out trades anymore. We use text and push notification. We do push notification directly through our mobile application. Okay. And we have five distinct trading portfolios. We have daily coaching sessions with timely topics and stocks and options and futures and technical analysis. And again, our instructors will directly, directly answer your trading relating questions via email. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash profit. One other, uh, one other little kicker tonight, we'll make it a completely riskless trade for you. So uh, listen, what we're trying to do here, we just give you everything you need to start trading from novice to expert. Okay. When I say novice to expert, you know, one other aspect, I don't think I brought this up a moment ago. I think it's uh, it's worthwhile. People are going to come here and they're going to say, oh, this is, this is going to be overwhelming, Don. The, you know, you just mentioned how many, um, how many different classes do we have in here, right? There's a volatility crash course. There's 92, 92 classes. This is just the options classes that I'm showing you here. There's 92 classes. Where do I even get started? How about this? There's a start here menu. See right there where it says start here? Options 101. If you were in it, absolute newbie. I'm telling you, start here. Okay. But even those of you that are incredibly experienced, there is something for everybody in here from novice to expert. When I say to expert, how about order execution part one, two, and three? I don't care how good you are. I'll actually teach you precisely how orders are executed from the time you actually click confirm and send to that order getting filled because I was in the brokerage business for 15 years. I understand everything about order routing and how to get you the best execution possible. Okay. That's what those, that's what these courses are about watching. Okay. This three part session, you know, people look at this, it's, it's 297 bucks. Every single individual in here, if you trade, I'll save you more than $297 just in the order execution classes alone. Okay. All right. Hands down. The order execution classes alone will save you more than $297. Forget about people like, I'm going to make money. First, we got to learn how not to lose it. First, we got to learn how to properly send off trades. So in addition to this tonight, we'll make it a completely riskless trade. People get nervous. You know, first of all, it's $297. I wouldn't get too nervous about $297. Okay. Money back guarantee. Trade with us. 
Trade with us over the next three months. If you're not satisfied, we don't put a definition on satisfied. Just email us, support at theotrade.com. Provide us details of your trades. Receive a full refund. Why do we do this? Listen, we don't want, I specifically don't want anybody here at Theotrade that isn't thrilled with what we do for $297, okay? There's some money back guarantee stipulations. You have to do uh, five trades, okay, using any of the Theotrade strategies and criteria for the next three months. By the way, any of the Theo trade strategies and criteria. You can't make up your own stuff. You're like, I did a special trade that I came up with. You got to follow our strategies and our criteria. And that's why I say, like, you want to be satisfied? Follow what we do. You can even follow our trades. Your initial account value must exceed $2,000. You must follow the criteria, especially if you do infinity spreads. Please follow the criteria. Oh, and you have to provide real account statements. If you Listen, I'm only asking you to do five trades, five trades in the next three months. Provide real account statements if you're not thrilled. If you're not thrilled, we'll just give you back to $297. People, it's $297. We have over 5,000 people now on TheoTrade, okay? So for $297, you know, listen, I will spend the time and I will go through your trades. If you want me to, I will go through every one of your trades, but it takes time. In fact, I'll show you this. Get to Theo Trade now. We're going to work with you directly. Tonight, we will provide 40 spots on the riskless deal. And the reason we do that is because I will go through every single trade, okay, of all 40 individuals on this riskless deal. All right. We have Unlimited email mentoring. Obviously, that takes a lot of people power to have unlimited email mentoring. You're going to be able to send us your trades. And we're providing it completely riskless. I mean, not only are we putting the $297 in the line, think about how much time it takes us at TheoTrade to go through your trades, to answer your emails. It's worth it to us. We'll provide 40 individuals tonight. Okay, completely riskless. It's $297 riskless offer. It's never been available with the infinity spreads. Plus, you're also receiving the bonds and interest rates class. Okay, it's part of it. And the reason I stress this to 40 people, because I'm the one who has to actually go back and reconcile. These are my trades. And I'll go back and reconcile and make sure that you're structuring your trades the right way. One of the most important things, okay, you can bounce ideas off of us. That's important. Anyway, this is open 40 spots and I will let I will let everybody know when the 40 spots are filled up. OK, it's not a problem. All right. Onward and upward here. What our members are saying. This comes from Brian on March 16th. And I, I just wanted to throw like two emails in here because I want you guys to see this because I think it's important. Right. Wow. I want to again thank you and say uh, I want to again say thank you for what you have taught me in the last two and a half years. I bought into what you taught about risk twist spreads. It's exactly what we're talking about tonight. That's one portion of the infinity spread and duration positions and started to trade options almost a year ago. I missed out on the last market move up, but at the moment my IRA is up 14.8% for the year. The reason I want to stop right there, the reason I want to say this gentleman, Brian, on March 16th, March 16th was one of the most hideous days in this market, okay, since the Great Depression. This guy's actually up almost 15% on the year. What I've invested in Theo Trade has been so worth the money. Okay. And this Brian here, he trades. He's he's got a sizable IRA. And the point that I make over here, most people were down 30 to 40% year to date. Brian here was up 14%. The next one over here, this one actually comes from Chris. This one's on March 26th. And I took these emails specifically from March because it was in the middle, okay, of absolute pandemonium. I've learned more in the past four weeks managing and defending my portfolios than I've learned in my entire life trading. Nothing I've learned would have been possible without having tuned into your teachings in the past two years. Also, my atomic hedge, it's one of the strategies we use, very similar to infinity, took a large sting out of my long-term IRA destruction. You clearly don't have to be a teacher, but thank you for doing so. Stay safe. This comes from Chris. Okay. I just wanted to, do, again, reiterate everything we have tonight. So, um, Here's all three bonuses, and then we're going to take you, obviously, over to this link, and I'm going to answer some questions. Um, this is TheoTrade Access, okay? You get today, it's $297, and I'll reiterate, like 100 times tonight, it's not a membership. We never auto-renew, okay? Maximum returns with infinity spreads, the course. The first bonus, we give you three months all access, okay, to what? 
Well, we trade live all day. We text out trades. Okay, everything's archived 24/7. Trading indicators and scans and daily coaching sessions. I mean, all of that. So you have three months access to everything we do. Bonus number two, access to over 92 trading classes. There's day trading and swing trading and technical trading and beginners options trading and advanced options trading. It just keeps going. There's 92 classes in there. By the way, by this Thursday, by this Thursday, that's going to be 93 classes. Okay. Bonus number three, it's a live class. It's bonds and interest rates. What really moves the markets? You may be, maybe you're not into bonds. You will be. You will be when you start to understand how bonds and how the Fed is going to influence the future of this marketplace. All right. If everybody could, please follow me right now to theotrade.com forward slash profit. It's P-R-O-F as in Frank, I-T as in Tom. Um, follow me to theotrade.com forward slash profit. And the reason you want to follow me uh, directly over to that, and I'm actually going to bring up the site right now, is to just uh, go through a couple of aspects here. Again, maximum returns with infinity spreads, uh, trades courses. All right, this is the volatility crash course and the back spread course. There are 40 riskless trade spots left. Okay, uh, I'll update you on that here momentarily. One of the reasons I wanted to take you to this, first of all, again, it's theotrade.com forward slash profit. If you need uh, help a question right now. We are here. Feel free to uh, to chat in directly right now. There's Stacy. There's Jeff. Okay. There's uh, there's JP. There's Corey. You know Tony's on tonight. Everybody's on tonight to uh, to help out a little bit. But I also I wanted to click right over here the add to cart. And the reason I wanted to click on add to cart is I wanted to uh, refresh everybody's memory over here. This is the Infinity Trader. Okay. It's not a very good picture. It's not all that flattering. Um, I wanted to reiterate one aspect of this, and that's this, okay? You will not, this is not a membership, and you will not, this is not like a gym membership where you can't get out. How do you get out of the gym? You never get out of the gym. They won't let you leave the gym, okay? Listen, it's $297. It is a one-time payment. You will literally have to tell us, I want to continue, okay, if you were to continue. So it's, it's a one-time payment in here, and I wanted to reiterate that. It's important to me. I hope it's important to you. Uh, again, if you also follow me to theotrade.com forward slash profit, you can follow me to this link for the auto expected move indicator. Those of you, as you were enrolling right now, by the way, to enroll, you literally just come and click here, add to cart. It's 297 bucks. Okay. It includes all the bonuses we discussed. Everything is detailed, obviously, down below. Okay. Before I go any further with this one, and again, we're going to start to answer some questions. At the bottom of this page, okay, is the link to the auto expected move. If you are enrolling right now, don't worry about downloading the link. It's in the Theo Trade site. Like, don't worry about, like, don't panic to download the link. Just worry about enroll at theotrade.com forward slash profit, okay, and you'll be able to download all of those from Theo Trade. Now, I want to spend a minute and say, this is Theo Trade. This is what Theo Trade looks like. Okay. This is actually the site up here. This is where we broadcast every day. That's actually, when I say broadcast, this will turn live into my screen. Down below, here's actually, well, you can talk to all of the other clients in here. Okay. And people are talking. I mean, you can, you know, talk amongst yourselves. All right. People spend, you know, the evening in here, whatever, uh, whatever does it for you. If markets are volatile. Okay. This is also a status bar. We're actually announcing our class, of course, that's coming up. Bonds and interest rates, what really moves the markets. So that's the, uh, that's the chat room. And this is where we trade live six and a half hours uh, a day. Um, actually, tomorrow, tomorrow happens to be Wednesday, but do seven hours. We do a happy hour today. Okay. So that's the chat room. Next, again, we come to the start here menu. If you're an absolute novice, start here. It's to get you ramped up. After that, okay all the different classes that we offer. And as I said a moment ago, and I showed you this already, the classes are broken down to genre. You know, I was poking fun at charts a little bit early on, but we have an unbelievable technical analysis, okay, uh, division here at Theotrade, both Jeff Bierman, okay, Brandon Chapman, Fractal Energy, okay, Fibonacci Trading Class, Volatility Indicators, Oscillators Classes, Okay, trade triggers, DMI classes, a MACD class, synchronized trading. Okay, uh, again, you're going to love the classes that we put together in terms of technical analysis here as well. You name a genre. 
On top of all of that, we have an archive that is completely searchable. Type in any trading topic that you can think of. Like, I'm just going to put in pairs trading. You're like, I don't even know what pairs trading is. That's fine. But I just want to show you, okay? We go to that level here. Anything, pairs trading 101. You want to learn about futures. You want to learn about stocks. You want to learn about arbitrage. Everything is in here at Theotrade. That's why we hire you know, a professor of finance. That's what we actually have. People that have been in the brokerage industry for 15 to 20 years. I mean, that's that's what our crew is here at Theotrade. So again, all of this is right on the site. Again, theotrade.com forward slash profit. Now, I'm gonna start to answer some of the questions. As you guys are actually enrolling, feel free to fire the questions into uh, into the chat room. Okay, I'm going to read through some of those. I'm going to answer initially, okay, just some basic questions that always come up. Uh, again, I'll leave the theotrade.com forward slash profit up here. And I'm also, I'm reading some of the uh, questions directly from the uh, from the chat room right now. So um, hey, let me take you through this, okay? Uh, first of all, people always ask, what do you need to get started? I say you need a laptop and an internet connection, but right now you don't even need a laptop. I, I use a tablet. It's fine. I uh, I trade all the time. I'm actually looking right now at my iPad. Um, I'm actually reading off of my iPad right now some of the questions that are popping into the chat room. So you can trade off of an iPad. You can watch everything at TheoTrade on an iPad or uh, on an Android tablet. The Android tablets are a little bit cheaper. Okay, you need an internet connection. Listen, we're going to try to give you everything you need to get started from absolute novice to some of the most extreme traders. Okay. Um, the second thing, and I've, I've already said this five times, but I'm going to say it again. This is not a membership. Okay. I want you to remember something. It's $297. And if you want to do it again, and that's for three months, if you want to do it again, it'll be another $297 for the next three months. Okay. That's up to you. We are not going to auto renew. And I'm going to tell you why we do that because I don't like <laughs> auto renew stuff. And I think that you don't like auto renew stuff. So I hope that I'm right with that. But I'll tell you what, we literally have 5,000 clients that appreciate the fact that we do not auto renew. We've actually had some people that get annoyed. They're like, you know, every three months, every three months, you guys hit me and we're like, believe me, okay, we're doing this at $297 for a reason. You know why? I hope you're a member for years. I mean, that's it's the right thing to do. I hope you're a member for years. Because trade with us. I mean, you're going to be amazed what you get for 297 bucks. Nobody ever comes here and says, ah, that wasn't enough. Again, be overwhelmed. Number three, we're now providing Infinity Spread weekly video update. So we give you a weekly video update specifically on Infinity Spreads. So you can follow all the moves we make. All right, number four, okay, Theotrade. We archive everything. Every word that we speak here at Theotrade gets archived. So we understand that not everybody can, can watch all day trading through each session. By the way, when we archive stuff, if you watch it back on your mobile, you could watch it at like two times the speed, right? So you can literally go two times the speed. So you can watch an hour session in 30 minutes. I don't know if that helps you guys, but I like that because it has variable speed on the uh, on mobile. Uh, number six, you can email us anytime. You're going to receive a response within 24 hours, including trade-related questions. Please do not email me with five minutes to go on expiration Friday. You know, and people are like, ah, I'm freaking out, man. You got to give us a little bit of time. We have 5,000 clients, okay? There are seven full-time instructors here. We also have a number of traders that help out with some of the, uh, some of the emails. Nevertheless, okay, give us 24 hours. We're going to give you an answer. When I say trade-related questions, we don't shy away. And I want to say that again. We don't shy away. You ask me directly, what do you think of this? I'm going to tell you directly. Okay. I don't like when people say, hypothetically, my friend has a position on, I don't need that. Tell me what you got. Show me what you got. Take a screenshot. I spent 15 years in the brokerage world. Okay. I know how to answer trade related questions. There's nothing people, you know, there's nothing I haven't seen in this business. You know, I think doctors probably say that there's nothing I haven't seen in this business. You're like, holy crap. But now there's nothing I haven't seen in this business. Okay. Number seven, you're going to gain access to every course that we've done in the previous four years. It has, everything's archived, classes, coaching, live trading sessions. You literally can go back into what we did in 2016, watch every single day, okay? Everything is searchable, everything is searchable. Name a trading topic, we have an archive on it. Number eight, all the trades that we've talked about this evening can be done in an IRA retirement account with as little as $2,000.
Number nine, we at Theotrade can help you get approved for options at several major brokers. By the way, I also want to say this. Time out. If you're a Canadian, okay, if you're a Canadian, we'll tell you the right brokerage firm to use in Canada. Canada is not always uh, the easiest thing, okay? It's just not always the easiest thing. So we're actually going to tell you the right brokerage firm to use up in Canada. Um, remember, there are 40, 40 riskless trade spots available. It's actually significantly less than that right now. We're actually running out of riskless trade spots right now. Um, it takes me four to five minutes when you enroll. It takes me four to five minutes to see it show up on my uh, on my screen here. But uh, I'll tell you, everybody that's enrolled and uh, uh, how many riskless spots are left. Listen, just get results, take action, enroll for Theo Trade now. There's absolutely no risk to you. And nobody ever comes here, as I said a moment ago, for 297 bucks. Okay, you could be a little bit overwhelmed. That's good. By the way, I kick off in the morning. When I say I kick it off, I kick off everything in the morning. Um, I'm going to come on first thing in the morning and uh, and go for it. By the way, I'll show you two more of these, and then I'm going to answer your questions directly. It says, uh, what are members saying? By the way, you guys are rocking it. Very impressed. It's really refreshing. Uh, to have you guys putting this together, sharing your knowledge, and not upselling everything and turning and burning your customer base. You've got a customer uh, customer for me and for life because of this approach. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. This is from David. I just, I love that one because that was our goal here at Theotrade, to build like, you know, the one-stop shop and not to continue to, you know, oh, I have to sell this and have to sell that. We don't do that crap here. We just don't do it. Anyway, uh, maximum returns with affinity spreads. Click add to cart right here. I'm actually going to answer now your questions directly. Again, this website here is theotrade.com forward slash profit. All right, some individual questions uh, answered. Okay. Um, the first one, Don, is there a place for diagonal back spreads? Okay. Uh, long, as, uh, long as deferred. So, Mike, you know what? So there, there are coaching sessions on diagonal back spreads, okay? But there are a number of classes that we do here, Mike, on uh, on diagonals. So the answer is absolutely unequivocally yes. The reason I'm like hesitant in saying that is there's a lot of different diagonals, Mike. There's a lot of different diagonals. And I would have to actually email back and forth what specific type of diagonal that you uh, you may be so inclined to uh, to look at. The next question over here, uh, it comes from Wayne. Is it better to lock in profits with risk-free trades or better to take uh, take the profits? So, uh, Wayne, in the infinity spread, okay, the infinity spread is a specific strategy. If we're referencing the infinity spread, it's a specific strategy in attempt to knock the cover off the ball. We're going to give you very definitive guidelines of what the percentage returns should be. We're going to give you also in the back spreads, you're like, when should I exit a back spread? It will tell you precisely, okay, when you should exit that back spread. By the way, before I go any further, in terms of the riskless spots, I'm going to read off a couple of names over here. Everybody I'm reading off right now is into the 40, uh, again, there's 40 riskless trade spots, but I'm going to read off some of the names uh, initially that have enrolled here. Morgan B. from California, uh, uh, Matthew W. from Florida, Scott Z. from uh, Oklahoma, Loretta R. from Kansas, Timothy K. from Nevada, Mitchell P. from California, Bart T. from New Jersey, Edward R. from Nevada, Max N. from Illinois, Craig M. from Illinois, uh, Craig R. P. from Colorado, Matthew A. from Kentucky, Michael S. from Washington, George B. from Arizona, James B. from Wyoming, uh, Gus S. from Michigan, Patricia O. from Tennessee, Norman M. from Washington, Bruce D from New York, um, Zahan Z from Virginia. All of those names are under the riskless deal. By the way, there's a lot more coming in right now. As I said, it takes me about four minutes before I actually see as you're enrolling. It takes me four minutes to see that you've actually enrolled. So we probably have in upwards of about 15 riskless trade spots uh, left right now. Okay, back to some of the questions, and then I will start to read off a couple more names. Um, uh, Santosh, can we automate entry and exit plan and think or swim? I work full time. So Santosh, I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't automate the entry of this trade, but you can absolutely put in what's called a good till canceled order on the exit side. So, uh, GTC on the exit, but to get the, the reason you're like, I want to automate it. I get it. You work full time, but to get out of the strategy, absolutely use a GTC, but to get in, the thing about getting in, you want to make sure that you get a decent price. 
And to do that, you're going to have to work the order a little bit more effectively. But here's the cool thing. You're working full time. We'll text out the trade. You just copy the order and paste it and, uh, and fire it at that price and just leave it in there. If it fills, it fills. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I think that's that's probably fair, right? Um, all right. I love that. Uh, I'm just looking looking down at some of the questions that are coming in here. All right. Um, by the way, somebody, uh, somebody came in here. This is from uh, Wanda. Question. Okay. What if you have a cash account, not a margin account? Can you still do this? So Wanda, it depends on the brokerage firm. It depends on the brokerage firm. Yes. Okay. Certain brokerage firms absolutely allow, okay, absolutely allow options, strategies within a cash account. But I will say this, Wanda, okay, in an ideal situation, you'd rather have the margin account. Don't think of margin, and I want to make something clear. Don't think of margin as borrowing money from the brokerage firm because, Options tie up margin, but you're not borrowing money from the brokerage firm, like buying stock on margin. That's not how options work. If you have a $2,000 account and a trade that you do here has $300 of risk, okay, your $2,000 account, the buying power reduction would be reduced by the $300. And it makes it easier in a margin account. And you're like, well, why? Why do I need the margin account? It has to do... Okay, with the fact that in a cash account, you have to wait T plus three for the cash to clear. In a margin account, the second you close the trade, the buying power is back in there. And again, I don't mind telling you guys this. Listen, I spent 15 years in the brokerage. You're not going to stump me on a brokerage related question. Um, so by all means, people always ask me about, you know, the brokerage firms and so forth. Fire will, man. I, uh, you know, after 15 years, I'm, I, as I say, I've seen and, uh, seen and heard pretty much... Uh, Okay, everything out there. All right, moving uh, moving onward and upward there, and another another question. Okay, I understand how one gets into one of these, but I don't understand, okay, well, how one gets out, especially because we're closing. TOS asks, like, you know, selling like a half an iron condor. So um, there's actually a cool trick <laughs> of getting out of some of these trades. You go back to the original trade, if you're on Thinkorswim, you just right click on the trade and say create closing order off of the original trade. And uh, interesting uh, irony of the class, the class has an entire section on how to effectively exit these particular trades. So I hope that uh, that makes sense. And you do not have to have think or swim. Do not have to have think or swim to um, to be able to uh, to do this. Okay. You could do this on E-Trade. By the way, we have a great relationship with E-Trade. We have a great relationship with E-Trade because one of the people I worked with at TD Ameritrade, she now runs part of E-Trade. We have a great relationship with Charles Schwab because one of the gentlemen that worked directly for me at TD Ameritrade runs part of Charles Schwab. We have a great relationship with Tastyworks. Why? Because the guys that actually owned you know, think or swim, started Tastyworks. You name a brokerage firm in this industry, we have connections there. A couple more questions. By the way, a few more names just came through. I told you it takes about four minutes. Mark H. from New Jersey, Albert C. from Mississippi, Stephen E. from uh, Massachusetts, Peter P. from Florida. Thank you guys, by the way. Everybody everybody that's enrolled tonight, thank you guys for uh, for joining us. And I uh, will reiterate, you can come right into the chat room in the morning. We start broadcasting. Okay. I actually would be on live first thing in the morning. I always take the first hour of the trading day because that's that's the time when I am most caffeinated is right up in the uh, in the morning. Uh, by the way, there's only literally a uh, I think four riskless uh, trade spots left right now. I think I've read somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, 27 names. Nevertheless, several more are coming through as uh, as I speak, and I'm trying to count and talk here at the same time. I think we have about four riskless uh, trade spots uh, left in here. Um, as I was saying, we broadcast live. It starts at 9.22 okay, Eastern time. That's 6.22 a.m. Pacific time. Again, I'm kind of a morning person. Drink uh, a whole lot of coffee early on. We'll get, uh, we'll get off and rolling, and I'll, you'll spend the first hour with, uh, with me tomorrow. I expect uh, people, nothing less than markets are rocking tomorrow. Um, by the way, uh, yeah, we can help you up in Canada a little bit. Okay. All right. Moving uh, moving onward and upward here. One or two more questions, then we're going to call it a night. 
Oh, how do you ca calculate the margin requirement in a back ratio? That's also part of the course. So the margin requirement is the distance between the two spreads. It's between the option you sold and the option you're long. If there's $5 difference, for instance, if you sell a 125 by a 130, that would be $5. Okay, the margin requirement would be approximately $5. The reduction in buying power, though, is the credit received minus okay, that margin. So if I receive 50 cents on a $5 wide spread, the buying power reduction would only be $450. So, all right, listen, I know a bunch of people are enrolling tonight. There's even more questions coming in here. I appreciate that all of you hang out and have, have hung out with us thus uh, thus far. We went way over time tonight. I hope that's all right with everybody. I like doing this. Obviously, I like doing this. Um, if you ever need to get a hold of me after this evening, okay, please, please do, okay? Right up here at the top of the screen, look, support at theotrade.com. Okay, just shoot an email, put Don in the heading. You'll be able to get a hold of me. No problem whatsoever. I want to thank everybody that has joined us uh, this evening. Uh, again, go to theotrade.com forward slash profit. See everybody in the chat room first thing in the morning. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye-bye.